What's up, guys? Well, shit. It was a great episode this week. I was very happy about it. Up until the point we were getting ready to close the episode about five minutes before, and the video started lagging again. And then I find out while editing that it cut the last maybe 15, 20 seconds. So you will actually see a difference this week at the ending. Unfortunately, no, no, keep on laughing assholes. It just goes into the music because my computer's a piece of shit. Um, and it's brand new. Uh, so we are looking into brand new equipment, or at least I am. Uh, but guys, the rest of the episode's absolutely fine. Video is great all the way up until the last five minutes. And audio is great up until the last 30 seconds. So you get the whole episode right before our live show. I'm super fucking pumped and can't wait to do it. Um, hope all of you guys are there. Uh, uh, Vorche's Lounge, Saturday. Doors open at 4. Show starts at 5. And if you are going to be there at the live episode, you get a little bit of a surprise. And I can't wait for you to see it. So, guys, thank you so much. Since we don't get to say it at the very end of this episode, enjoy another one and keep on laughing, you assholes. The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Go, Jeremy. Go, Jeremy. Yeah, uh, Scotty, you're going to have to... Work on keeping me awake over here because I'm already tired of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'll try. And we also have another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than Derek the Wreck Alders. Yes, sir. Very happy to be here is what I would say if I was honest. <laughs> if you were, lying. <laughs> okay. All well, right. Positively... Maybe. It's a distinct probability. <laughs> right. It's an uh, absolute possibility. Right. Uh, believe it or not, guys. Sorry, I'm tired. I, I know. Uh, I really fucked that up right out of the gate. <laughs> it's okay. This is how this show's going to go. <laughs> no, it's not, because it's a good show. I think show. it should. We just, let's keep it mellow, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep me you like the ASMR keep of the, laughing on the sidelines? Absolutely nothing like that. <laughs> oh. um, but let's just keep that energy low. Okay. Mm -hmm. No no funny oh. this week, guys. Let's oh. just, let's get serious. Okay. Let's, Let's talk about Ukraine. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Please and thank you. They deserve it. <laughs> Can we all agree? They were fucking asking for it. Uh, moving on from that. Uh, but call no. everybody cranes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you crane. I, I call them You're a crane. I call them ukes or yukies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but believe it or not, guys, we are less than a week away from our live show. Well, maybe you are. Oh, I am? Is it just going to be me there? I don't know how time works. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we are less than a week. I don't even own a calendar. Oh. Well, you know, I know somebody that used to have a nice Jewish men's calendar. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, God, it's some prick that sits to the left of me <laughs> that decided he was too good for it. Uh-huh. I am too good for that. I wouldn't say. I'm too Gentile for that, <laughs> is what he said. Uh, He's shit. like, I like my men uncircumcised. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus. God damn That's it. just fucking weird, Scotty. I'm going to be honest with you. That's If you've ever seen an uncircumcised penis, <laughs> they're fucking weird looking, and that's weird that you prefer that. It's a turtleneck, man. Uh, shit. But anyways. Not we, even a mock turtle. Not even. Nope. Just a full-on. On turtleneck. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but anyways, yeah, we are a week away from our live show here in Wichita, Kansas, laughing on the sidelines live. I'm excited. I don't know about these guys, but I think we all We're are. stoked. Yeah, stoked. fucking yeah. pumped. Um, but yes, uh, really excited for that. Our link uh, is in our bios for tickets. We still have a few tickets left. Scotty's only fan link is in his bio. Yep, only hands. Is that what it is? Only fans. Oh, yeah. What is my? Only You're fan? still waiting to get a fan. Oh, but. got it. Fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, we've got You're a actually the only person on OnlyFans with negative subscribers. <laughs> negative, oh. yeah. mm-hmm. you owe them money. <laughs> okay, check out Scotty's OnlyFans and all smell anything. <laughs> I think some people would actually want to see that. Uh, but anyways, we've got a full episode for this uh, this smell week. This turtleneck, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Full episode this week. We've got uh, some news to go over. We've got Would You Do It for 10K? Real shit or horseshit? Bad, ad- or bad advice. We're not going to do this week. We're going to hold off on that one. Uh, we got overrated or underrated and a couple of questions. And as always, a fun draft. Um, do we really? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good one. Okay. And then a shitty situation as always. But before we kick off that shit, let's talk about our week, week recap about what happened to us over the last week. Derek? What? What'd you do, man? Um. Well... I moved mountains. You did, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh yeah, I bought uh, I bought furniture, uh, which meant I had to either pay the four hundred dollar delivery fee or move it myself. I chose move it myself. <laughs> and that would have been four hundred bucks well spent. I'll be <laughs> I, honest, I figured this out. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, um, I was going downstairs with it. Uh, my old stuff was reclining, so it all had motors, and I figured out how to take that motherfucker apart mm-hmm. completely <laughs> and uh, brought that up, a uh, couch and love seat. I brought that up in five pieces. Uh, yeah. I got angry enough, it almost went up in seven. Sweet. <laughs> uh, Great. So I finally, after like an hour and a half, got all that shit up the stairs with a friend of mine, and then it came time to move the other stuff out of the trailer into the into the garage. To go to when the you basement. say trailer, you mean your house? No, no, oh, no. You don't live in one? No, I mean Scotty's house. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fair uh, yeah, I bought it from Scotty. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, it's That's covered. weird that he has a delivery fee. Uh-huh. You're a prick, Scotty. <laughs> yeah. You're just a real fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I do, Jeremy. No shit. <laughs> Again, sick of your shit. <laughs> Tired of it. So I fucking got this. I got the other stuff we'd picked up. My buddy has actually a big enclosed trailer. So we went and picked it up from the furniture place and uh, got it back to the house. And by the time we just even offloaded it off of that into the garage, I was fucking spent. Like that shit was even heavier than the other shit I had. Again, electronic yeah. For oh, you went with the electric again, huh? Oh, God damn. That, if I fucking move again, that comes with the house. <laughs> I, I can it. tell you, I have electric reclining sofas right now, yeah. and uh, we'll never, ever do it again. It is such a pain in the ass to go up and down when the old mechanical style was just so fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I fucking hate that if somebody comes to the door, it takes me forever <laughs> just to put my fucking <laughs> footrest down. So I can tell him to go the fuck away. Yeah, there, the day that I bought, uh, I, had, I had my pistol when I bought it. I had it for like <laughs> maybe a month, and I heard mm-hmm. a big boom upstairs, and I'm downstairs like, what the fuck was that? And I'm getting ready to tear ass upstairs, yeah. and I hit the fucking button, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go see what that was. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'm already raped. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's already happened. Hey, well, don't move. Stay no, you're, you're, right where you're, you're at. not raped yet. They got to wait for you to put your feet down. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> as soon as you get out of there, they're just gonna flip my <laughs> legs up in the air the rest of the way. They're gonna recline it back the way it was. <laughs> they might. I'm going in. They might just leave. Yeah, out of fucking boredom and frustration, be like, Jesus Christ, she's never getting out of the fucking chair. <laughs> So we did that, and then I had a comedy show. I ended up uh, – Jeff Leeson was here in Wichita. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know who Jeff Leeson is, he does a lot of crowd work. And by a lot of crowd work, I mean all crowd work. Okay. He has yeah. no set list. Sure. He just goes off the crowd, and he's really good at it. Yeah. And um, he's been all over TikTok. I'm sure you've seen him on TikTok. Um, most people have. Um, so I don't watch TikTok, and I don't encourage anyone else to. <laughs> <laughs> I bought tickets to this show like m- fucking two months ago, and I get a phone call on Sunday uh, from my good buddy Steve, and he's like, hey, what are you doing Thursday? And I said, I'm going to the show at your bar. <laughs> and he goes, fuck. And I go, why? He goes, I was going to see if you wanted to feature for it. And I'm like, 
okay. I'm going to be <laughs> yeah, there anyway. I'm going to yeah, be there. Sure. So he's like, all right, cool. Can you do 30 minutes? I'm like, yeah, I'll do 30 minutes. So I went up and featured for it, and I had a really good set. I was pretty happy yeah. with my nice. was Very happy. Very, very rarely am I happy with how I did. Please tell me you went up and did all crowd work. No, no. <laughs> just to fucking burn the guy behind you. I just sandbagged him. <laughs> I went up, actually, and just talked about how uh, I put my truck on Craigslist, and uh, this mm. meth head showed up mm. <laughs> and was banging on the bottom up with a screwdriver while I was standing on the porch going, try it now. <laughs> Are you serious? That happened to me too. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Hashtag me too. Man, God man, damn! And then oh my I, God! Yeah, and then God. I just I started. Can't believe that! I dude. started ripping on my dumb Japanese wife. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I I could never have guessed by looking at her that she was <laughs> dumb. Oh, big time! You can tell that right out of the gate. <laughs> yeah, oh, mostly by her husband, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. If nothing else, tasteless. Yeah. Yes. So the uh, set was good. So yeah, so. I had a great set, and yeah. then he came up, and man, he was just so fun to watch. Just and what was funny is I was doing some bits about like drinking and driving and stuff like that, and I was uh-huh. like, I'm kind of good at it, and talking about all that. <laughs> And then uh, that guy gets up, and there's a cop that's sitting in the corner, like <laughs> front, front row, right on the right side of the stage. And I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> What's he going to do? Go back on? <laughs> no, he's off duty right now. Yeah. So, hey, what was that one guy's name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a statute of limitations, and I believe it's, well, it might still be Thursday, might still be okay. But, uh, but yeah, so that was what I did uh, for that. And now I am fucking paying for life because I've, I'm so sore. <laughs> I believe I it. was making noises I didn't know would come out of my body. Yeah. Have you ever strained so hard to lift you farted? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I actually have that. Done was, that. Uh, my wife was like, honey, uh, I think you need to lift with your legs. I'm like, am I not doing that? She's like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, that's you how You need my... to get yourself to eye cryo. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, I cried. They'll fucking yeah. cure what ails you, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was the worst. Uh, well, my week started off with getting a phone call from Derek to uh, see if I could help move that furniture, and luckily I was golfing, and so I did not answer. I, wasn't, even, I wasn't asking you for help moving. Well, I kind of was because my buddy Brian's back was a little fucked up, and yeah. he still. He was God. asking you to stand in front of the truck <laughs> yeah. while yeah. they drove off. That's what they needed. <laughs> right. We need to know if this thing's for sure going forward or not, yeah. so you just stand there and let us know when it hits you. <laughs> Actually, could you hang on the back of this while we're going down Kellogg and just make sure that the mm-hmm. fucking door don't fly open? <laughs> we'll get you a skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, I did uh, did end up going golfing. I was so fucking excited. I got my all of my clubs. All of my clubs I got uh, measured and fitted for and stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be the best round of golf I've ever played in my life. Yeah, you definitely don't have to worry about growing. They'll fit you forever. Now they will, yeah. Uh, Yeah, that was maybe one of the worst fucking golf games I've ever had in my life. Yes, that makes me so happy. They say... They say... (laughs) I feel a lot better, actually. I I, I got the energy now, but fucking Bob, let's go! I didn't care. Are you ready? (laughs) Yes! Woo! Yeah! All right. Let's fucking crank it up! (laughs) Let's have a good show! Yeah. Uh, But no, they... It was... shot a 98! (laughs) <laughs> no, it may have been worse than that. Uh, they say Good. they say that when you get your clubs adjusted to you after you've been golfing uh, with the same set of clubs for like three, four, or five years, it, it's going to change uh, and it's going to be a frustrating day. Okay, fucking nobody says that. Yeah. I've never heard one person say that. Oh, yeah, 100%. Nobody says that. Yeah. You're saying people say that. You're fucking lying. <laughs> well, nobody ever said that. The pros said you, that. No, um, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Uh, the he ones want to make you well, feel you, better. He's yeah. a pro. You paid him to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. To make an excuse for your shit fucking golf game. I putted beautifully though. That was uh, that was my my most improved uh, area, which I'm normally pretty decent at. But I was fucking exceptional. Uh, I hope yeah, so. so. You were at a mini golf course. Shut the fuck up. up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that's, I mean, that's why your all whole his clubs were fitted. Yeah, yeah. That's your yeah. whole game is yeah. putting. Yeah, uh, but uh, probably my favorite thing I did uh, over this last week, I finished. Congratulations. Good all, job. <laughs> all over your own face. <laughs> <laughs> no. Way to go, buddy. I finished the Rings of Power. And I this is when I'm gonna hand off to Jeremy because Still haven't seen it. I, I know um we both were watching this and in my opinion. It was very slow getting up to the the final episode. I still loved every fucking one, but the last episode was fucking awesome. 
Uh, what did you think there, uh, there, Jeremy? There's a twist I did not see coming. I called it. For certain. I called that. No, you didn't. Yes, did I guy, did. Did that guy finish all over his face? Yes. <laughs> did, yeah, did you call it when, some, when, when people were talking about your clubs and getting them fitted and how that <laughs> reduces your game? Yeah, no, I didn't call that. I did Is that when you said it? Because nobody heard you fucking say that. <laughs> uh, my wife did, actually. No, she didn't. She did? Um, no, I, I didn't realize that this was a multiple season deal. Five. I thought it was coming to a conclusion. I guess they're filming season two right now. Yep. Uh, boy, I hope they take another three fucking years <laughs> to come out with season two like they did with season one. Uh, that's so frustrating. I think COVID slowed them down quite a bit. It did, but they also did say that it'd be very difficult for, to expect them to be ready for 2023 and that we should be looking more towards spring of 2024. Good. So I got some time to watch it. Fuck. It's just so frustrating. The, the, the problem with that is you will forget everything that happened yes. in the first season by the time second season rolls around. And yes. you'll be like, who the fuck is that? And why are the children adults now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, yeah, that that's was... the worst part about uh, Stranger Things. Yeah. yeah. These, these fucking freshmen in high school are 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I like But did you, did you like it, though? Did, with the final episode? I didn't hate it. Okay. Um, there are rings now. There are rings. They got rings. That's, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but you know. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> we spoiled it. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I won't spoil anything else. But I loved it. We I won't tell you good. how many. <laughs> yeah, we won't. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. Uh, what else did you do there, Jeremy? How was your rest of your Oh, week? are we on me now? Yeah, yeah. That was it. Well, I've always said that this is uh, my favorite time of the year. Uh, October, dude, fucking... Six o'clock rolls around. There's nothing better than driving straight west. <laughs> oh, yeah. There yeah. For fucking 40 goddamn minutes straight <laughs> with a dirty windshield. Oh, love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, fuck. I hate it every second. I couldn't see my fucking speedometer. <laughs> Oh, did you just guess? I just guessed. I can. I, I like to think I know the car well enough. I can feel the vibrations. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know what speed it's going. Uh, let's see. I worked uh, Saturday. Uh, then uh, Saturday night, me and my wife, we do this from time to time. We go to the fucking casino, like, really late at night. Like, we don't get there till 11. Wow. And then we'll stay till 3 or 4 in the morning. My wife hit a $1,000 fucking jackpot. Jeez. On a slot machine. Oh, that was like pie gal or something. That's not a jackpot. That's just oh, a lot man. of money. She Like, on one fucking spin, she hit, uh, like, 1,020-something progressive jackpot like the major jackpot on that machine did you yeah. beat the shit out of her in the parking lot and take it i sure did <laughs> damn right. i sure did a true fucking winner right i took there. her shoes too because <laughs> she left her because she left them by the door and, and then uh, get in the fucking car <laughs> that was weird we had to ride home together that, that was i didn't i didn't think that all the way through uh oh, shit. but so no that was uh it's nice to go there and actually come out with a little more than you went in with yeah um doesn't happen really often. And then, uh, let's Too see. Too bad sex doesn't work that way. Right. No. God yeah, damn. <laughs> hey, look at that. There's some extra dick. <laughs> oh, be goddamn. She usually leaves with a little more than what she came with. Uh, <laughs> and bitches about it a lot. Oh. Every time she sneezes. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then, uh, let's see. On, um, on Sunday afternoon... I went. I bought a new pair of shoes, guys. Uh oh. I'm not oh, going to say where, uh, but it's a place that is famous for footwear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it still astounds me. Anytime I go in there, I'm always immediately greeted with someone saying, "What can I help you find?" <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Fucking shoes. <laughs> Chances are, people who are real specific about their shoe taste aren't going to famous footwear. <laughs> have a whole lot of designer shit in there they just got oh. basic fucking shoes i did get a pair of shoes that i really like they were velcros yep yep i figured just I figured like my wallet yep, baby that's right you should ask them what can i help you find yeah you guys develop 35 millimeter film because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i've had this kodak disposable camera for about 13 years i also need some typewriter ribbon <laughs> do you have any any of that yeah just by chance you guys fix vcrs <laughs> oven cleaner what? What do you got? <sighs> just, just fucking show it to me. <laughs> Could you point me to the Nordic track? 
<laughs> my wa- my Walkman's just go, busted. I should just go, shoes, and then have them take me to every pair. No. <laughs> no. No. Mm, no. <laughs> and go through every shoe in the place and then... Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, Jesus. That was about the most exciting thing to happen to me, <laughs> uh, other than my wife doing well. That really didn't happen to me. That happened to her. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, new shoes. But, yeah, I got some black and white Nike high tops. They look like old school, like 90s, early 90s, late 80s, early 90s basketball shoes. Yeah, Derek's wearing them right now. Is that true? Yeah. You stole my fucking shoes? Yeah. Yeah, you left them at the door. <laughs> Damn it. Habit for your creature <laughs> it, of habit. It sure is. <laughs> See, my wife's got me fucking conditioned. <laughs> Leave yep. your shoes and nunchucks at the door. <laughs> I'm also going to steal your kid's bike later. <laughs> what? Are you really? Yeah, you leave it in the yard. It's free game. <laughs> okay. I did ride that over here. That's why taking that trip <laughs> west so long. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, that's really a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Those huffies got some range on they them. They sure though. do. And yeah. you're not just limited to the streets. No. You can go sidewalk. Yep. Well, I mean, it is whatever. a mountain bike. Yeah. You, the, all the mountains in Kansas. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mount Sunflower, baby. I actually, I got one of those big, like, they're 21 speed, the street bikes like they use in the Olympics. <laughs> you got, got one? that solid fucking thing in the back wheel for whatever reason. No actual spokes, just like a solid disc back there. I don't get that. <laughs> I don't either. So Why do they do it? I, I don't know. I'm asking you. You're the fucking oh, Olympic I, freak. No, I'm not. I, I Okay. I mean, yeah. kind of. I actually pay attention to the Olympics. Ah, uh, shit. But that was your week. Yeah, you but, took you took my thunder about Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I know. But Apparently, you, you called it. Yeah, I did. Jack I off. fucking did. Uh, it was a great show. I absolutely I loved it. I can't believe they brought in Jerry Seinfeld. I know. It's crazy. What's with these rings? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> when where's the Lord? Yeah. Um, but anyways. I'm watching it on Sunday. You should be here. <laughs> I saw these two orcs out in the forest. They gave me the old stab and cut. <laughs> <laughs> or was it a cut and stab? Yeah. Um, but we do have a full episode of fun stuff and uh, news. But before we do that, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Vagisil. No, oh. no. Uh, our actual sponsor, which is uh, manscaped.com. Uh, I used their product this morning. And I will have you know which one? I feel great. Which huh? one of their products? Uh, I, they I, have a lot of them. The Lawnmower 4.0, bro. Sweet. The adjustable LED light. How'd that come in? It, it was great. It, I, I mean, I was able to, to shave in the dark. I don't mm-hmm. like to wake my wife up in the morning, so I got I got to shave in the dark. Did you use it on your gums? No. You got some hairy gums, Scotty. I do. I got some hairy wrists, too. Are you, are you shaving your balls in bed? No. Please tell me you are. No. I would love that. I would, <laughs> I would actually respect you <laughs> if in the morning... You just woke up and shaved your balls standing up in the bed. You got to be standing. <laughs> Letting the hair drip with, uh-huh. with a box fan pointed right at him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, just <laughs> stra- straddling your wife. <laughs> yeah. And, and then when she wakes up and goes, what the fuck? Be like, I turned the fucking light down. I'm being considerate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, uh, excellent product, that Lawnmower 4.0. Uh, it sure is. It, it, it's the best thing in the world when you want to keep your nuts nice and groomed and tidy. Works way better than a regular lawnmower. That's exactly right. You will lose your wiener. <laughs> it definitely works better than Vagisil. It definitely yeah. does. Yeah. In um, fact, this thing is guaranteed not to give you a vaginal yeast infection. <laughs> it isn't really. Yeah, yes. nine out of nine times mm-hmm. it has not happened. Wow. I've, I've used it so many times, haven't gotten one yet. I'll be damned. Uh, but they do have other excellent products that you need yeah, to check out. Yeah, the closest out. thing I've had to an irritating pussy is what's sitting on the left of me. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. Uh, Jesus. And he keeps talking about Manscaped right. yeah, every goddamn week. Every week. I love it. Uh, but they also have excellent other excellent products. They also have the ball deodorant. That keeps your nuts nice and smelling good. That, that's the famunda that you don't want. Yeah, mm-hmm. chicks don't like that shit either. Yeah, and Scotty will smell it if you go to his OnlyFans at All Smell Anything. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dude. I just thought of a great idea for the live show. Yeah. You know how during wrestling, like when Bray Wyatt comes out, everybody holds their phones up? Yeah. If everybody here brings their manscape <laughs> and fucking turn the light on full blast and everybody holds them up as we walk out and wave them around, that'd be fucking great. Yep. 
Uh, but they have tons of other products at manscaped.com. I want that now. I want that so bad. I just want to hear <laughs> like a hundred of them going at once. <laughs> Yeah, you got to bet it's still off. nice and quiet. Yeah. Um, but anyways, go check them out at manscaped.com. Uh, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are reading these commercials word for word and not plugging our own show. Yeah. Uh, but we had a fun-filled week in sports. Uh, we've got to start with the first thing. The first thing is, is tonight, as we were recording this, is Monday. So we currently do not know who uh, is going Monday. to be. Yeah, Monday. Oh, yeah. That's that, nice. that's, that's, that's what we're going to call it. Month day. Month day. Karaoke month day. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Just a small town girl. Right, Derek? Fuck you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, we do not but know. What, what's she doing? Uh, where's, she, where's she live? She's living in a lonely world, I'm oh, pretty sure. Damn. Yeah. She took a midnight train. Going, uh, that's going enough. Anywhere. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but currently, I started it and I, I'm going to finish I'm it. I'm going to shit my pants to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Great. Hang on. We cur- you are wearing so, slacks. Yeah, that's right. I got my shit and slacks on. There you go. Uh, we're currently in a rain delay for the New York Yankees and the Cleveland Guardians. And uh, for this show, we'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> nope. Bring out the tarp. Yeah. Nope. But we do. Jesus Christ, you really did shit your pants. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh my God, that smells awful. That's for you. Let me turn it this way. <laughs> that's yeah. Thanks, man. I Keep laughing, it. asshole. No, yeah. uh, oh Jesus, my Lord, that's that's the smell of his asshole laughing. <laughs> yeah, potent. at you. That is potent. Oh, oh, I didn't fart. My asshole burped. Oh, it's how it it's was. weird yeah. that you were able to directionalize it too, because yeah. it's not coming over here at all. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Uh, no. Okay. Before we move on to the sports, I do have to say there was this one other thing that happened that you guys really enjoy. Now that we're talking about farts. Um, have you ever had Did your that? wife give you a Dutch oven? No. Have you ever uh, had somebody spray that fart spray? Yeah. Oh my God! It, but it doesn't smell like fart. So I was getting picked up at work because uh, we run vehicles back and forth uh, all day long, and we, I was helping. And uh, one of the managers is is kind of reminds me of you two. He he hates it, but he loves fucking with me on a regular basis. And he had that fart spray, and I get into the car after he had literally just sprayed it, and it was it doesn't smell like a fart. It smells like straight butthole, like legitimately put your finger up your butt and smell your finger it's exactly what it smells like great absolutely disgusting um can, can i tell you my story yeah that? yeah okay uh many years ago i used to work at a pet store <laughs> and it was in a strip mall that was right next to a dollar general nice and the people from the dollar general would come over like on their lunch breaks and look around and and of course we had fucking animals there gerbils and guinea pigs and rabbits and stuff and and they shit. all the predators yeah yeah <laughs> i mean it, it smelled like animals in there and every time they'd walk in they oh it, it stinks in here because i mean animals yeah. just don't smell good so anyway one night have you ever smelled or seen those fart packets where you like it's a foil packet and it's got some thing of chemical in there and as soon as you, you like squeeze it and break the chemical yeah pack it inside uh-huh. and the whole thing fucking starts to swell up I've and you got glass but yeah you you've got a fucking few seconds to get out of there and then this thing blows its seams and it smells like just fucking fart i mean like <laughs> boiled egg farts. oh gross and so one evening while I'm working at the pet store, I got a hold of one of those and I took it over there to the Dollar General. <laughs> and I popped it and I put it in a display of like stuffed animals. Perfect. And left. <laughs> and for the re- it made the whole store in there smell like fart. <laughs> and for the rest of the night, everybody from the pet store took turns going over there, walking in and going, oh, it's. It stinks in here. <laughs> Just so they could know how it fucking felt. <laughs> That's perfect. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, we got to get moving on. Uh, we do know that the Padres and the Phillies is going to be the national uh, championship uh, series right there. National League. National, national League. League. NLCS. Get the fuck off. Fucking Nunnally called it. Yeah, he did. He, he did. said He <clears> said <throat> the Padres. Yep, he sure did. Dark Horse. Dads Dark Horse. are kicking some ass. They sure, they sure are. are. Uh, we know, unfortunately, that the Astros have already made it in, uh, but we are waiting to see what happens between the Yankees and the Guardians. Go Yankees. Go Guardians. If Why? <coughs> if the Guardians win, then the Astros pretty much are in the World Series. I don't think so. Against the Phillies or the Padres. I so mean, you want to root for the Yankees. I, I can't. I can't. Just on principle, I, yeah. I cannot. 
the, this this MLB playoffs would be so amazing if if it ended up I, both the teams out of the National League. I'm happy with Phillies beat the Cardinals. Whatever, I don't care. I just don't want the fucking Dodgers in the World Series. I got my wish. Well, I don't want so, the Astros there. I don't want the Astros in the World Series either. But I think it's gonna fucking happen. And uh, Yankees got a better shot at beating them. I I think you're right. But well, and I the just, Yankees are just a better fucking team than the Guardians. So they they're are. gonna. They're most likely. I think they got a two to one lead. Uh, Guardians are up two to one. Guardians won yesterday. Uh, I believe so. I think that's right. They oh. were down four to two in the seventh when I went to bed. Uh, I think they had a screaming comeback, but I, I'm going to double check. But I, I'm pretty positive that that's what it is. But uh, no, I think it's actually. I think it's two I to think two. It's two to two. I think it's two two. Yeah, it's it's series currently is tied two to two. Yeah. So whoever wins is <coughs> it advances. Yep. So, uh, but yeah. Oh, I'm, that's right. It is just a game five. Yeah, or it's five, five game five game series. Um, but who are you? Uh, who are you pulling for out of all these teams? Of the teams that are still available, who are you rooting for? The dads. The dads. I've got to go for the dads. I'm going for the dads too. I am too. Okay, fair. I enough. wouldn't mind seeing Cleveland do it, but Same. whatever. Yeah, I still remember that video of those Dodger fans talking shit to Manny Machado. Yeah, whenever he went to the Padres, <laughs> and he's like, "Well, you'll never win a World Series now." I love that they took the Dodgers out. And yeah. I really kind of hope they just go and fucking run it and, and, and win the whole fucking thing. I, I agree. Um, but the other thing that happened uh, over the last week, we had some college football to talk about. First things first, KU, two losses in a row. Suck it. I don't know if they're going to win another game. Uh, they that might. That schedule looks rough. It does look rough, but you got to understand, they for once I can say, hey, at least they're being competitive at least. But Oklahoma is, is awful this year. 100% they're awful. Uh, they are and they aren't. They, all the pieces are there. They, I didn't realize the last two weeks they had been playing without their starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, that made a huge difference, obviously. Um, but, no, I think that they are still whoever. I think they're still probably have the talent to be a top 10 team. They're not going to get back there. No. But that, that's the team that they are. They mm-hmm. are still a very talented team. Their defense sucks shit. As, as uh, usual. But they were able to just move the ball at will against KU, and apparently they just got off track. Yeah. Well, I just don't, I don't care. As long as KU loses, I'm, I'm happy. Illinois won. Fine. Illinois won. We're They're in the, the top 20. Number 18. There you go. I saw that. I can't fucking believe. That's crazy. I haven't seen a good team like that and out of Illinois since, I think, 2011. Yeah. There you go. Uh, they but, used to be pretty consistently ranked, I remember, in the 90s and uh, early 2000s. It's, it's been a minute. Uh, I remember they went to the Rose Bowl and Reggie Bush beat the shit out of them. Yeah. Um, they won the Big Ten. Uh, that year they did. <clears throat> damn. Anyways, uh, but probably the, the biggest game of the weekend for college football was actually the Tennessee Volunteers beating Alabama. They got fined $100,000. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? They got fined $100,000. Because of the fans? Because uh, they ripped the goal. The fans taking the goalposts all the way to the lake. They got fined $100,000, and they need to get new goalposts. (laughs) That sucks. That's bullshit. It is bullshit. That's That's, actually what I was going to talk about. That's a traditional college thing. I agree. (laughs) The one thing I will say is you can't say that that's a traditional college thing and then be pissed when people storm the court. I don't yeah. see a difference. I, I, I don't either. I, don't, I do not I, see it, a difference. In, in my opinion, if a team storms the court or storms the field after, that's more of a celebration, a, 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 a tribute to you. It, it Beating that team is such a huge fucking deal that it requires a larger than normal celebration. This is no just standard run of the mill win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I don't, uh, so, I don't hate it by any means. No. I just think I, I hate when people are like, Okay with that, and then like, oh, show some class when they storm the court, like motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah when when K State finally beat KU in Bramlage for the the first time that they had beat them in the twenty five year history of Bramlage Coliseum, they beat them at Bramlage and they stormed the fucking court, and people just went off on that how fucking classless that is, and it's like. No, this never fucking happens. It, <laughs> it literally had never happened before. Like two or three years later, KU beat a Division two football team and stormed the field. Yeah. That yeah. was like their first win in yeah. two years or some shit. But it, it's like when people say, act like you've been there before. They hadn't been there before. No, <laughs> right. yeah. The, the, the fans of this team had never seen that before. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, if they beat the shit out of you three years in a row, then yeah. it probably doesn't happen. Right. Yes. 
So, uh, but yeah, they actually, there's video footage out there that's absolutely hilarious where they're like, like passing the, the, uh, field goal, like the bars and shit up the stands. Mm-hmm. And then they ended up throwing them in the river. So maybe that's what they, uh, maybe that's what they were getting fined for. I don't know. But, you think uh, littering? You think that's what it was? <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. It was yeah, littering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't throw fucking plastics into the fucking river. I just want to see that guy that magnet fishes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull that up. Holy, Holy shit. It's a field goal post. What the fuck? Snags it on his fucking back line. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. But now we get to move on to the NFL. Holy shit. There was some uh, surprising games this week. By games, I mean surprising results. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is um, the Green Bay Packers getting the <laughs> shit kicked out of them by the New York Jets. I'm sad I did not get to see this. Not the Giants. Not the not the five and one that's, Giants. But that's back to back New York teams beating them, isn't it? Uh, I did the, did the Giants. Yeah, beat yeah, them yeah, it was. Yeah. It was in it was in England. Yeah, you're right. So New York and uh, that was at home for Green Bay. It was. It was in Lambeau Field, and the Jets beat them. The Jets aren't a bad team. I don't think they're bad, but whenever you've got the the history and Green Bay Packers and. All that shit, you just automatically assume that, oh, the Packers going to win that fucking Rumor game. has it, Zach Wilson fucked Roger's mom after the game. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Sure did. I don't know if he'd want to do that. Have you seen it? Have you seen Rogers? He's uglier than shit. Yeah, I know. So maybe he'd just do it to I'd, do it, though? Just to do it, okay. yeah. Right. I'd That's fuck Aaron Rodgers' mom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just, 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 to, just to hold it over him. him. Yeah. yeah, just to hold it over him. Yeah. Like, yeah, you may have beat us this week, but I fucked your mom in the ass. Yeah, yeah. sure did. Oh, yeah. you're going straight anal. Straight anal. I bet you, like, straight to the ass, too. You yeah. didn't even take time in the post. Yeah. No. I'm going ass to mouth. Very good. Sweet. Nice. Uh, I bet but, you she does, too. Right. She's a dirty girl. Uh, but the best part, I think, was Sauce Gardner. You want to talk about trolling. Um, he was a defensive player for the Jets. He ends up grabbing a cheese head, putting it on, and walking out of the uh, off the field with it. And apparently, uh, Lazard for Green Bay knocked it the fuck off because he was pissed. That's yeah, great. I, I, he did come out later and say that, oh, it was all in good fun, and I wasn't mad about it. And I'm like, but I guess they also did, the Jets did a Lambo leap as oh, well. Oh, nice. Yes. That's so perfect. I fucking love this because sure. fuck those guys and those fans. So <laughs> thank you. I am fucking Jets all the way, baby. <laughs> It's I like think. a stadium full of Ogbayani. <laughs> That's uh, right. Vinny Ogbayani is such a great baseball player. He's, he's amazing. Should, he was. Should have. Yeah, he's great at luggage. We, we forgot. <laughs> we forgot about last week. We should have had him in our best players to make. Yeah, a we Hall brought fame. it up on the show. Yeah, oh, we, we did. did. We oh, did. My bad. I, I'm, I thought Jeremy was going to take him with his last pick. That's right. A sleeper pick. Yep. Uh, but next thing, uh, the New York Giants. No, you didn't. The New York Giants end up beating the Baltimore Ravens, and they are now five and one. Are the Giants for real? Yes, they have the coach I wanted the whole goddamn time. That's uh, that's coach of the year right there. Yes, they are for real. 100%. Yes, uh, Dave is a fantastic fucking coach. M- more, more than that, did the NFC East just all of a sudden become the, like maybe the most competitive fucking yeah. league in or the division best. in the whole fucking league? They went from least to beast. Yeah, yeah. they did. Yeah. In one year. I, I, that's I, why I like football because you can do that. It doesn't take a decade to rebuild a fucking team. Unless you're you can the, go from worst to first. It happens in football more often than you'd think. Unless you're yeah, the Detroit but, Lions. Okay, here's the thing, though, about the, uh, everybody in the NFC East. Guys, uh, I don't mean to spread rumors. They pay their fucking players. <laughs> they sure I'm do. I'm serious. They do. Uh-huh. That's got to be a recruiting violation of some kind, doesn't it? Yep. Washington Like, like when they sucks. draft somebody, yeah. don't they fucking offer them money like, like right in front of everybody? Right. Yeah, they do. They make it public. Sure. That's... Crazy. Wow, that's brazen. Yeah. The old commanders still suck ass. Yeah. yeah. But the other three, good. Yeah. Um, uh, moving on. Well, actually, I, I want to. who's going to take this division? Is it pretty much? Um, okay, here's the actual question. Philly ends up beating Dallas six, or 26 to 17. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dallas hung in there for a while. Yeah. But, oh, uh, I kind of thought the Eagles had it one from the start. I mean, they they – they were clearly the better team. I was getting ready to say, are the Philadelphia Eagles the best team in football? Well, right now they are. They're right undefeated. Now, they're I know they're one. undefeated, but I mean, you take your, their record into account. You take all of this other shit. Like, do you think that they are better than the Buffalo Bills? Man, imagine if they trade for McCaffrey. That I 
Mm, I was getting uh, ready to talk about it. Is that, that a thing? Uh, yeah, yes. He's as on the block. He is currently on the trading block because the Carolina Panthers got rid of Matt Rule. Who would um, they fucking trade? You got to get a first rounder. Oh, uh, there's actually a couple oh, okay. teams. There's, there's, yeah, I guess you can do that. There's a couple say. of teams showing interest. Like You'd have the, to trade uh, Jalen Hurt for it. the ball. <laughs> that or, sorry, be any good. Actually, the Buffalo Bills are interested in in uh, McCaffrey, and so are as well. The, they should be, and so are the Arizona Cardinals as well. Um, so, but but I mean, if you're talking about Christian McCaffrey, everybody's fucking interested in a little bit. Like, what would you? Well, yeah, give he's up? a game changer for any team. Any right. any team in the NFL would be better with him than without him. Uh, yeah, I would I would agree to that. But you might get a first. I don't know if you would. You might. Um, mm-hmm. You'd at least get a second for him. Though. Yeah. And uh, also during the Carolina Panthers game, uh, Robbie Anderson apparently caused a stir on his own sideline with his own other players and uh, coaching staff, and he was uh, politely told to go ahead and leave the game. Go hmm. to the locker room. And I mean politely as as being uh, the exact opposite of politely. So, yeah. It was a uh, whole think Bob said, Anderson. I think they told him to get the fuck out of here. He I did. bet they did. <laughs> he did. Hey, you, 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 you go on and you get out of here, you stinker. That's what they said. <laughs> Yep, that's you why. go on that get. <laughs> this guy's like, I'll smell him on my OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, man, I'll never forget. Uh, years ago, uh, I we were going to we were in Kansas City. We all went to a Royals game for my wife's birthday, and there was like ten or twelve of us. Okay, and my dad lived. My dad has lived like everywhere. That really seems like more of a present for you, but okay. Mm-hmm. No, she she loved going. Okay. She loves going to baseball games. All right. Um, she gets Topsy's popcorn <laughs> at Royals games, and she fucking loves it. Okay. Um, but uh, my dad, so it was like her parents, my dad, my stepmom, and like some friends, and we all went. Okay. And we met at Joe's to get barbecue at Joe's Kansas City. Uh-huh. And there's a, like a grocery store across the street. So we parked at the grocery store, and we all just rode in one car to the Royals game. Right? Gotcha. Or six of us did. And uh, as we get back, there's a homeless guy that comes up and starts asking for money and scared the shit out of us uh-huh. because – he came out of nowhere and just pops up. He's like, hey, you guys got some change? And my my mother-in-law just goes, oh, my God. And my dad just goes, go on, get. <laughs> get out of here. Like like a stray cat. He said, get. Go on. <laughs> and fucking got the guy left. Well, it worked. It totally fucking worked. But there. I was like, Jesus Christ. Uh, they are, they're like phantoms. <laughs> they just appear. Right. Um, get. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Robbie Anderson has now been traded uh, from Carolina to uh, Arizona. I heard uh, uh, not yes, not, yeah, a couple hours ago. So, whew, what uh, what the fuck what, are they doing? Yeah, what, I don't know what he's going to do for the Diamondbacks yeah. because <laughs> I mean they're not even playing baseball anymore, mm, right? Yeah, they're I mean, not, not. I think not it's just kind of one of those things to make him feel better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, uh, Hollywood Brown ended up going down with an injury, so they don't know what his situation is. So they think that Robbie Anderson would be a decent um, add on. I don't know why why they call him hollywood i uh don't know it started whenever he was uh, oklahoma you know jeremy's neighbor calls him holly weird yeah it, right that's well the, no that's the guy who bought my grill oh, oh that guy oh, yeah he yeah. calls him holly, holly weird. No, weird. If, if my neighbor did that i'd burn his fucking house down <laughs> <laughs> with my grill <laughs> you know that holly weird brown boy yeah, yeah you, i gotta get out of california man that holly weird man that's just <laughs> it's wacky uh but maybe the weirdest thing of the week uh if, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um, out of all of the analysts, the NFL analysts. <laughs> Anal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of all the NFL analysts, uh, they all make their picks every single week. Doesn't matter about the spread. It's just who wins the game. And uh, twice this year, if it has been a 100% pick that all the analysts pick one team to win, uh, they, they are all wrong. Uh, it ends up being the other team. 100% of the analysts picked the um, – uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers to wipe the floor with the Pittsburgh Steelers and some fucking how uh, Mitch Trubisky after uh, Kenny Pickett gets hurt fairly early in that game ends up beating the Bucks with Tom Brady. This what is, the fuck? This Mitch- is what Trubisky does. He gives people hope just to fucking let him down. Yeah. He, he, he beat him as a bear, too. He did beat him like two years ago. The year they won the Super Bowl, the Bucks won the Super Bowl. Trubisky beat him. Oh boy! But he'll come out for one game and make people go, "Well, fuck, maybe he's not so bad. Let's keep him in." Yeah. And then no, he sucks. 
Yeah, Pickett, they don't know how uh, how how long he's going to be out. I think it was concussion protocol, so it's at least a week, especially with the way the NFL is getting stared at with concussions and shit like that. So, yeah, he's going to miss next week. Um, does this Is this when Brady's, like, the wheels start falling off? I think he's done. I think he's I think Well, he's got some it. personal shit, too. Yeah, we didn't even uh, talk about it, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. He and Giselle have both hired divorce attorneys. Yeah. I don't know that anybody's filed yet. Have no. They? But it's most likely going to happen. That's That's got to be a fucking distraction. There's no way that can't be yeah. a I distraction. Just, I just think he's done. And if you're him, do you just hang it up after this year? Or do yes. You go, or do you go, I can't go out like this. I know I'm better than this and give it one more year. No. No, I think. And what I'll, do you do? 100%. Uh, he should have. He should have retired last year. He should have retired after he won the after Super Bowl. After he won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Go out, go, I mean, that's, go out like Elway did. Win number seven and be like, all right, <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, but it sucks because, like, he's, he's not bad. It's not like he's sucking. It's just it just feels like the Buccaneers themselves just all of a sudden ate shit this game. And I'm not saying that they're bad. They, they're very they, haven't, ta- looked, they haven't looked good but all they year. Ha- I was going to say, but it's not that they're bad. It's just they haven't looked very good. Uh-uh. Um, so, I mean, Leonard Fournette looks good at times, but I mean, what, what the fuck? So I'll put a suit on me and I look good sometimes too. That's true. Mm. That's true. What about the Cam Akers deal? Oh yeah. What the fuck happened? I don't know. Apparently he might be getting traded. He was supposed to be the starting running back. And then now all of a sudden they said it's non-football related. Now they're saying it might be football related. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't either. Um, he, I think you're right. I think he will be traded, and he'll be traded very quickly, kind of like the whole Robbie Anderson deal. But uh, we'll, we'll see what the uh, hell happens out of that shit. Feel but bad for that kid. I do too. Uh, but, yeah, that, uh, that's all the other sports that I have, unless you guys have anything that you wanted to talk about real quick. The Bears suck. Bears do suck. I was trying to avoid that. No, you. no, that's okay. I knew we were going to suck. I, I, actually, I don't want to win any game except for when we play the Packers again. Okay. That's the only game I want to win. So they're doing exactly what I want them to do. Okay. Um, and, and, uh, and Velas Jones cannot catch a fucking punt. And hmm. that was uh, Pace's – or not Pace. It might as well be Pace. I mean, he sucks just as bad. Right. But that was Ryan Pohl's big uh, receiver pick because I'm glad we passed on George Pickens. Cause yeah. God, Lord, Lord knows Justin Fields is so good he can do really good with a bunch of fifth-string fucking wide receivers. Absolutely. And I then, can tell you this. It, they really helped prove that Thursday night football is not worth fucking watching. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it is shit. It's garbage. It's, oh. it's been such garbage. Um, but last but not least, the uh, this is Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon we had the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills play, and uh, I was actually i been very entertained by that game. That was I a was, good game. I was actually s- still moving furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. I really thought the Bills were going to come in and kick the shit out of them, but I can definitely see why the Bills want to want to get McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. Uh, Singletary is a pussy. Uh, well, he's like he, 60 years old, and he was a linebacker, yeah, for crying out he, loud. But those eyes, man. Those yeah. Fucking linebacker <laughs> eyes. <laughs> no, I have him on my football team, and he's a, he's a good guy on my, on my fantasy team when, uh, when he gets in the open. But, dude, if he even gets touched in the backfield, he goes down. He has no ability to turn his fucking legs and drive through really? anybody. He sucks that way. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, so that's the question, and and you guys haven't really answered it. Do you take the Philadelphia Eagles over the Buffalo Bills? I don't think I don't I, know. Do. I don't know if I could. I don't think I could. If, if they have a fully healthy defense, I think I take the Bills. Okay. I, I, I'm still siding with the Bills as well. I think the Bills are the best team in football. Okay. Well, that is sports for this week. Now we Butker hit a 62-yarder. Did he? In the wind. Really? Into the wind. Into the that wind? would have been good from 75. Wow. I mean, I'm, he fucking put it into the net. Nice. Yeah. Jesus. I will say. In the first half. I will say Kansas City is, I don't think, any a threat at all. Um, I think losing Tyreek Hill has completely changed that team. And now they can't score quick, and they can't score in bunches like that. They have Kelsey. You stop Kelsey, then you've won the game. Yep. Uh, that, yeah. That's exactly the I think they're going to win the division. Uh, but them or San Diego. Yeah. San Los Diego ain't look great. I, we, we still call them San Diego. We mean Los Angeles. That's no. We're talking yet. about San Diego. Yeah, we're yeah. Talking about I, the Padres. We're going back okay. in time. Okay, that's fair. Padres. I think Padres. Antonio Gates is going to have a hell of a game this week. Yeah, he no, sure is. Yeah, that Philip Rivers. Like, oh god. Yeah. I I mean I I cannot believe that they they got rid of Flutie. Yeah. Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah, but Sayal looks real good. He yeah. sure does. Mm-hmm. And Breeze. Okay, now we that guy's got big things ahead of him, Junior Seau. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, he does. Yeah. He's got a long future. I'll tell you what, if something happens to him, it'll just blow my mind. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, 
Well, that'd be a kick to the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Now we're going to get on to the fun stuff. I actually believe it was his chest that he shot so yeah, that he, he could did. study his brain. Yeah, but, but it was mm-hmm. because of CTE. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, now we get to move on to a segment we like to do. This is called Would You Do It for $10,000? I have a couple of things here. Uh, we want to know if these guys would actually do it uh, for ten grand. So the first one up is Would You Do It for $10,000? Sleep in a bedroom infested with spiders. Uh, you found my point, Scotty. No, <laughs> that is not. Wh- I won't sleep in a bedroom infested with a spider, <laughs> let alone 10,000 of them. Oh, yeah. No. Like crawling on you in the middle of the night? Uh-uh. Yeah. I can't do it. Uh, honestly, the, the spiders really don't bother me, but like a whole fucking infestation of them. Oh, I'm uh, moving. <laughs> burning the That's house the, down. Yeah, huh? I wouldn't even move. When we moved to this house we live in now, I wouldn't touch the garage. I had a black widow infestation in the garage. Oh, wow. I let somebody else fucking do the garage. I'm like, you can have whatever the fuck's in there. I, if there's a car in there, that's your car now. You can have that car. Uh, no. No. Uh, I, motherfucker, I don't think I could. I, it's not that I'm scared of the spiders. I'm scared of, like, the brown recluses and accidentally, like, actually dying because of getting bit he, multiple he, times. He hates the minority spiders. He sure does. Oh, God. The recluses. Hey, you didn't care for those black widows. Yeah, yeah that's, no, true. that's true. My husband did. Yeah, that's the best <laughs> fucking thing ever. That fucking Zach Galifianakis where he's like, here's my impression of a gay snake. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. I have, now, I have another impression. Here's my impression of a black widow. <laughs> My husband's dead. <laughs> it's so fucking funny, dude. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Would you do it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good time? Nope. Okay, straight nose right across the board. Yep. I'll be damned. All right. Uh, next one. Would you do it for $10,000? Be the mall Santa for the entire month of December. Yeah. <laughs> you would? Absolutely. Oh, really? Can I get fired, though? No. So anything even goes. <laughs> even better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sit on my lap, kiddo. Let me tell you well, who's not real. <laughs> no, if you get fired, you, you lose your shit. Right if you get fired, month. you lose a 10K. If I have a kid that's like, I want a pony. And I'd be like, whoa, little Billy. <laughs> the only way you're not going to get a pony is if your mommy doesn't love you anymore. <laughs> Let me show you a picture of my horse, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking great. Uh <laughs> Uh, 10 grand? I, no, no. Just kids. Kids annoy the fucking shit out of me. And have you heard stories of being a, like a Santa Claus, an actual Santa Claus? Kids piss themselves, shit themselves when they get ready to it's sit a on it. suit. Who cares? I bartended. Oh, I cleaned up shit and God, piss anyway. It no. doesn't. And I didn't make 10 grand in a month. And they're, they're kids and you can't discipline them. Like, it, That's 120 they, grand a year, Scotty. I don't care. No, just for one month in December. That's I'm, fine. Fuck right. That. But that averages out to 120, 120 grand, grand a year. grand a year. Absolutely. Oh, I would do that. All day. I'm he, not. Can I tell you something that annoys me about santa what's that okay he goes from house to house right yeah delivering not, toys not even knocking but whenever it shows him taking off with his fucking reindeer he goes all the way up in uh, the fucking sky he's just got to go right over there <laughs> <laughs> why do you got to fucking take off to thirty thousand feet well jag off. not every kid gets toys that's, right. that's true don't get shit no. but like the adopted him. ones you don't get anything oh for fuck kids. they're not even <laughs> no. real yeah <laughs> I still love that. Remember back in the 80s and early 90s where, like, that was the big taboo? What's going on, Tom? Or Tommy or whatever? Yeah. I just found out I was adopted. <laughs> like, that was the big... Every sitcom had yeah. an adoption episode. Oh, yeah. God. And now they just... Can you imagine how Arnold felt on different strokes when yeah. he found out he was adopted? Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Drummond. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't believe he was adopted. <laughs> I uh, thought I was a black guy like my dad. <laughs> Get down. He said uh, he'd be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. Oh, my God. Okay, that's fucking perfect. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Would you do it for $10,000? Would you lose your sight for a month? That's tough. Ten grand. Ten grand. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
I mean, explain yourself. I'm on my phone too much anyway. I, that's all I'm going to do is just not look at my phone for a month <laughs> pretty much. I'd be pretty bored. Don't, I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah, but you know, I watched a lot of kung fu movies in the 80s. True. And it really heightens your other senses. Oh, sure does. Like Van Damme won a whole kumite, and he was blind. Oh, that's right. He can catch right. fish with his bare hands. Sure yeah, that's absolutely. Amazing. And if you can win a kumite blind, you can pretty much do anything. Mm, that's true. So I'm going to go... I like to think so. Yeah, yeah. and I imagine if and that with that ten thousand dollars, if I took that mm-hmm. and then bet on Van Dam and the Kumite, yeah, that's an easy twenty thousand dollars. There you go. Do you know that people did some research into that, and there's actually no evidence of the real Frank Dukes having ever fought in any Kumite ever. That really, he most likely just made that whole fucking thing up. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed you never seen Van Damme and Frank Dukes in the same place at the same time? That's true. I have noticed that. Yeah, yeah. I think he really is Frank Dukes. Okay, he's got to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably. That's the only explanation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he's, he built the pyramids. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he's. It's like Mark Twain. <laughs> right. I never, never see him and Van Damme in the same place either. Same. No. no. Uh, would you do it for ten thousand dollars? You know why? Because he's Arnold's dad. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Source It all dad. comes full yeah. circle. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Oh, shit. Next one. Would you do it for $10,000? Would you chop off one of your pinky toes? No. Really? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I'm not chopping shit off. <laughs> really? Um, unless I wasn't circumcised already. Okay. Then that's going away. Yeah, because yeah. like we said earlier, you you. I'm definitely... going to a crew neck. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> but, uh, you do not want a turtleneck. It looks weird. But yeah, I'm not chopping a fucking toe off. Nope. Uh, what, if it, what if it was medically, surgically done? Well, then it would have to be. Otherwise, uh, that doctor would lose his fucking license. That's, that's not cosmetic surgery. That might yes. be. I might do it that way. Yeah, if I came in for a tonsillectomy and woke yeah. up without a toe, I'll do that because I'll get way more than ten grand. For yeah, that. you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing this shit either. That, that, it, no, no. Uh, uh, plus, uh, people don't understand just how vital that pinky, pinky toe, toe is. is. Yeah, you will fall over you will have to relearn how to walk <laughs> it's it really is that crucial to balance and keeping yourself upright you will it just will not feel right and you will fucking fall over on that side of your body <laughs> people you say that well. about your big toe but my my dad was missing his big toe and the toe next to it and okay. still walk fine okay you don't know this about me uh my pinky is my biggest toe my <laughs> what toe is yeah i got weird feet uh <laughs> what yeah I got a big pinky toe. Yeah, he has to wear his sandals on the wrong feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have a regular big toe, but just my pinky toe is fucking enormous. <laughs> it's the size of my of the rest of the foot. <laughs> it, oh, God. It works out. Yeah, it sure yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. I, my fucking pinky toe is yoked. Yeah. yeah really. <laughs> now I know why you were looking for shoes. That's that week. toe ring yeah. that got stuck yeah. on his penis. It was from his pinky toe. That's right. That's why I got to go to custom <laughs> shoe stores like famous <laughs> footwear. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, nobody's doing this. Okay. Last one. Would you do it for $10,000? Would you watch a porno of your parents having sex? Well. Well? Huh. I'm going to say, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting for I you. was like sitting here thinking, it's got to be like a six-minute movie. <laughs> but but it lasts forever. Uh, I don't think I could do it. You don't? No. I, you know, you know who, who, who can? You? Nope, not this guy. I, there's no fucking way in hell I'm doing that shit. Plus, my parents are divorced, so Scotty's, that would be fucking Sc- weird. Oh, I, I know who can. Who? Benny Ogbanana. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty still jacks off to his parents' having sex. Oh, that's fucked up, well, dude. printouts of him anyway. <laughs> 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 uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but no, Ooh, I'm not doing this shit. shit. There's no way I could. Absolutely not. Jeremy? Uh, no, they, and, and not cause it's just so disgusting. Uh, it would be shot on an old style camcorder. The video quality would just be so poor. It'd be on a Nickelodeon. <laughs> it would. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be, yeah. It'd be an old eight millimeter. I'd have to set up a projector. It'd be the fucking it cut the black and yeah. total black screen with just text. It just goes, Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to hire an organist to play in the background. Right. And make it on on uh, Nick at night. Well, it'd be Dick at night at that point. It's like, hang on, I'm gonna watch my parents have sex. Let me turn the video on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the and it's an old hand, hand crank projector. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. None of the kids know uh, know any of that. We uh, don't really know that. We <laughs> right. It's not the fucking old west. <laughs> right. Uh, but that was uh, would you do it for ten thousand dollars? Now we get to move on to real shit or horse shit, guys. If you have any suggestions for any of these following segments, go ahead and send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'll read them over, and if I get any good ones, I'll give you a shout out. That's what we do. Uh, first one: real shit or horse shit? I will wait until I am on E to fill up with gas. Uh, that is horse shit. Really? No, quarter tank. Quarter tank. Quarter tank. Okay, do you have one of the little lights that come on that say you're low on fuel? I've only seen it once. Really? Yes. Wow. Yep, that was driving back from Kansas. I got to Kansas City and then was leaving Kansas City and wow. got to like uh, the rest stop, and I it, that it was on. I had I had no idea that you and I are very similar about this. That's just ah, one God damn it. Then I'm gonna start waiting until you. I'm just saying, like I. I, I will not do this. I will not put myself in that situation. The thing is, is the fuel light on my on my truck comes on whenever it's a quarter of a tank. So it's like, meh, motherfucker. But every time I, I'm at a quarter of a tank, I will I will fill up with gas. I have a pretty ambitious fuel light, too. Yeah? It comes on pretty early. and uh, But I will wait for it, too. Just because my commute back and forth to work is a pretty short one. Mm-hmm. And so even with that light on, I bet you I could make it there and back three times really but yeah if it pops on at any point i will stop at a gas station and get gas yeah uh i if, and maybe uh, some beef jerky right oh yeah you have to but uh I'll snap into but, a slim jim <laughs> oh yeah all right what uh, about a car wash do you get he the said car slim wash? jim not kool-aid oh okay okay you do it better than i do anyway i know i do okay uh next one I'm not giving you that satisfaction you Scott. suck uh, next one, real shit or horse shit? Maybe I'll get a Twix ice cream bar. <laughs> Those are the best. Um, oh, they yeah. are. They're so good. His Snickers are good, too. And I fucking hate regular mm. Snickers, but I like the Snickers ice cream bars. Okay. All right. Can we move on now? Is that true? What? Yeah. No, I think we need to talk about this. <laughs> yes. You don't like Snickers? No. What don't you like about them? The, the nougat? Thing. Are you anti-nougat? I guess. I just don't. I'm not a big caramel guy. I don't like caramel that much. I don't like caramel either. Or chocolate. Damn it. I love caramel. Big <laughs> Snickers fan here. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get you a bag of Snickers. <laughs> God damn it. Good. I'll give them to the trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Bring he, them to the live show. He ruins everything, doesn't he? <laughs> yes. That's my job. Damn it. Okay. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will pick my nose and wipe it underneath something in public. I'm going to say that <laughs> is horse shit. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I don't pick my nose in public. I, I don't either. I do not pick my nose in public on purpose. I've accidentally done it before just because there was something there and it had to get out. But my nose is very, very, goes- very sensitive. But I have also a short commute to work every day. That whole fucking time I'm in the car, I'm trying to clean out my nose. Oh, God. Yep. I'm a That's pick it and flick it guy. Pick it and flick it guy? Uh, yeah. Okay. I saw somebody pick it and eat it. At a stoplight the other day. <laughs> oh, I do not do that. That is <laughs> jarring. Every time that I see it happen, because I'm like, no, he's not. No. <laughs> oh, shit. He did it. And just oblivious. It's like, I, I'm not even making, like, hiding my view, looking at him at the side eye or anything. I'm staring right at this asshole across the fucking intersection, just loud and proud, picking and eating. <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. It sure is. <laughs> so this is horse shit for all three of us, I'm assuming? Um, no, I'll, I'll pick my nose and wipe it on top of something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so real shit for Jeremy. Okay, uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. When someone made me mad at work, I will get into my car to leave and start arguing out loud as if the person is sitting next to me in the car. Huh? Like are, talking to yourself, like sit there and talk to the steering wheel of like, oh, really, motherfucker, really? And then have a, a conversation uh, that you are imagining that you are having with that person who pissed you off. This is the realest of real fucking <laughs> shit for me. I've had some of my best arguments by myself. <laughs> I win every one of those fucking debates, too. Every I shut time. them down. Every I time. I shut them down. Oh, God. Whoever I'm arguing with is always wrong every fucking time. And this is real shit. I'm going to go horse shit. I do it in my head when I get in my car. I'm like, fuck, I should have said this. Yes. But I don't. You don't do it out loud? No. Really? No. Oh, that's I fucking one hate. time I had I, it happen, though, where I had the, fuck, I should have said this. And then I'll never forget the fucking moment. 
it was whenever I was waiting tables and it was, uh, I, I'd like just learned to bartend and I didn't like bartending cause I didn't make hardly any money doing it. It was at an Applebee's <laughs> yeah. and, uh, so I was like, I'm not fucking, I'm, I'm going to go back to waiting tables. So I went back to waiting tables. I've been waiting, I hadn't bartended for like a month and I only bartended really for a total at that point of that job for like four weeks, you know? So I rang in a drink and it, I would put on the little special mod where you can type in the computer. They want Captain Morgan not sure of upcharge. Like, just let me know what the upcharge is mm-hmm. and I'll fix it. And I got the bartender who was like the manager's favorite and was like, know it all. And she's like, what kind of liquor comes in that? I said, I don't, I don't know what, what it was. Just let me know. And I'll, and I'll upcharge accordingly. She goes, that's the liquor that comes in it. It is captain. That's sad. You were a bartender. That's just sad. And I was like, all right. So I was like, how many shrimp come in the shrimp? And she's like 12. And I went wrong. And it, it was right. (laughs) <laughs> but I went to the back and I was like, just to piss her off. And I was like, man, I should have said, this, should have said this shit. I come back out and she goes, no, how many is it? How many is it? Cause I just checked and it's 12. And I said, you know what? I don't care how many fucking shrimp coming to shrimp. I don't care what kind of liquor comes in that fucking drink. You know what I do know? Nobody here fucking likes you. <laughs> I said, the only difference is I have the balls to say it to your face. <laughs> and I got took it to back, and I remember the manager said, if anybody asks, I yelled at you. I understand. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fair enough. All right, fine. All right, next one. In her defense, <clears throat> I mean, every, it's Captain. Morgan, <laughs> Come on. You are a fucking bartender. Jeez. I know it is sad, right? Yeah, it really is. Uh, next I'm one. Total, I'm totally on her side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will respond to a text or email that pisses me off by typing out a long, angry, sarcastic response just to delete it and respond with okay. Oh, no, I'm sending the sarcastic one. 100% of the time, man. Yeah, they say, like, if you're mad to type an email out and then leave it unsent and then come back and read it a day later. It's the fucking point. And... I send it, and then the day later, I'm like, hey, man, I didn't mean to send that. (laughs) (laughs) What I meant to say was okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, How about you there, Jeremy? I, yes. Oh, really? With With, like, your wife? Or certainly my ex-wife has done that. <laughs> uh, mostly just because it's easier. Oh, really? Than dealing with the fucking fight. Sure. Um, or, and this is this is a shows how fucking nuts I am. I'm not sure how to punctuate it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. If I feel like I'm not sure how to spell something and it won't autocorrect to it. Or I'm not sure if I should put a comma before or after the fucking the uh, the the article, yeah, or whatever. Then yeah, I'll just okay, okay. <laughs> as long as you spell loser correctly, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. This is uh, yes, this, this not loser. Oh yeah. Jesus oh, yeah. fucking Christ! Oh damn yes. it! That's I a- will fucking hit somebody with a golf cleat. <laughs> there, there, there. That one is oh, a big losers one for the me. worst though. Yeah. Oh, I just got it. Yeah, because it's never uh, in the complimentary. No, no. meaning it. They're always being a prick. You're mm-hmm. a fucking loser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Pisses me off. Oh. Loosen your mom's ass. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Straight to ass, huh? Right, straight to yeah, it. You straight, straight to it, it. and then to the it. mouth. Yep, that's right. Right to mouth afterwards. <laughs> uh, this is this then is. I'm gonna uh, dig her up and munter. <laughs> oh, gross! Uh, this is horse shit. I don't do this. I if, like to think you would too. Oh yeah, I'm I'm fucking petty. Fuck yeah, he is. <laughs> he is fucking petty. <laughs> um, I also enjoy the idea that they saw the the three dots blinking uh-huh. for a long, long fucking time, time. <laughs> only yeah. for me to send. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right like they were just waiting to, for me to fucking give it to them and yep. yeah okay that uh, horse shit for me uh last one real shit or horse shit i like a finger in the back door whenever i am getting ready to have an orgasm <laughs> finger <laughs> <laughs> a whole fist pinky toe or nothing for yeah. me yeah my own <laughs> i've been working on my flexibility <laughs> Oh, make me a Muppet. (laughs) That's fucking awful. Make me sing Rainbow Connection. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, 
this is our shit. I'm, I'm gonna come mm-hmm. <laughs> all over your face. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, this is horseshit. And, and I know you're lying, but still, there's no fucking way this is going to be. This is going to be real shit for anybody, honestly. Right? Um, uh, right? Well, I have a comedy bit about this. Okay. <laughs> Go I, for it. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> I can tell you that if you do it to me and don't tell me you're going to do it first, I'll respond like I've been tased by the police. <laughs> I will. <laughs> like one of those hardcore thugs that gets tased by the police. Right. Like, go ahead and tase me, I, bro. I, go I, ahead. I can take it. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> more, more like I will flop around and convulse <laughs> and uh, fall on the floor and <laughs> cry a little. Yes. Have you seen some of those it's, people that they tase that uh-huh. do that? And then they just stand there. The ones who just, take it? Oh, my oh, fucking fuck yeah. God, dude. <laughs> wow. that, that one guy didn't stop cussing out his wife. <laughs> While being tased. He just kind of seized up a little bit. You fucking bitch. You better hope I don't kind you ass. Oh. I mean, smoking a cigarette while he was getting tased. <laughs> it was unlit until he got tased. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. Boop. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, no, this is horse shit. Jeremy? Yeah, you uh, just, 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 just answered. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might. I just need some advance warning. <laughs> uh, anyways. All right. Uh, well, next, uh, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. No bad advice to Jeremy this week. Uh, so, yeah, same thing. Suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Or at our text line yeah. at 316. No, stop it, you son of a bitch. There have been people who are guessing it, and they're getting dangerously fucking close. How do you know? I. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you don't get, like, texts from other numbers that are close to your number. Yeah. How, how, how the they fuck let, do you know? How would they let you know? Commenting. Is it 316 this? And I'm just like, don't say anything because th- you're getting just, fucking close. Just say yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, that'll make sure. him stop. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, and then some poor bastard's going to wonder why he's getting all these fucking texts. <laughs> would you rather watch NASCAR <laughs> or have sex with your own mom? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jesus, did What's you... something you can say in a helicopter that you won't <laughs> say to your wife? <laughs> what? Are you farting more? No. Over... Oh, good God. I mean, maybe it's just you. No, I think it's probably your wrist. Uh, it could be. All right. I opened one of those packets. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, here. Next. Or, or, sorry. Uh, overrated or underrated. Pretty simple. We have some examples. Uh, we could say if they're overrated or underrated. So uh, first one. I like how you explain that. I know. I didn't have to, and I just kept going with it. Shut up, Derek. Now we go to <laughs> first one. I like how Derek had to call you out for it by calling out what. Yeah. What you had done. Yeah, sure. And then you had to get all <laughs> defensive about it. Yeah. Fuck you too, Jeremy. Uh, first one. This is questions where sentences end in a question mark, and we <laughs> answer them. And here we go. Here we I like go. how Scotty <laughs> said, fuck you, Jeremy, after I called him out. <laughs> for, for Derek calling him out. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Overrated or underrated first one. Overrated or underrated major league pickleball. That's a thing? That is a fucking thing. Well, I don't watch it, so overrated. Uh, well, I'd rather watch my parents in a porno. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's overrated as fuck, dude. I mean, they're getting paid for this, and that just ruins the purity of the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard like that uh, a famous athlete. Like, I want to say it's Tom Brady's going in on this. Like, he's that's why that's why Giselle left him, is because he's going in on this uh, actual major league. This pick- seems less Tom Brady ish and more Antonio Brown ish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> seems like one of his business ventures. It very well could be. I don't know, but uh, I'm looking it up right now. But Actually having major league pickleball? Bullshit. That's overrated as hell. That's I, the dumbest fucking thing ever. I I probably I shouldn't say this on the air, guys, but right now I'm under medical treatment for having pickleballs. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus Christ. I, speaking of that, my wife bought this stupid, like these pumpkins, like small, and they're all like, it's, they're not pumpkins, they're gourds, which are the same fucking thing. Uh-huh. And she bought them for like fall decoration. And one of them looks like a wilted penis and there's yeah. just bumps all over it. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is, looks like what I was shown in sex ed videos in yeah. high school. Like, <laughs> are you trying to tell you, me that if I raw dog you, this is going to happen? You, like, should right. you should put a condom on it. Yeah. Ha! I'm going to uh, do that. Yeah. Uh, I can't find it, but that's yes. a decorator tip. I, I <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing going on 
in my fucking house. I forgot to mention Christmas. Uh, it has begun. Yeah. Ah, she started, she decided, you know what? I don't put Halloween decorations up in the basement. So I'm just going to get all the fucking trees down and put all the basement ones up. So there's a dozen fucking trees in my basement <laughs> right now. I like to think that it's a uh, vampire Santa. <laughs> yeah. This is what I like to think. <clears throat> yeah. You sure. don't know what he does the rest of the year. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you're right. How do you, how's he that old? I mean, there's a reason he only goes at night. Yeah. Right. You uh, don't hear about daytime Santa. Uh-uh. He yeah. can't be around the sun. He also can't see his own reflection. That's a little known fact about getting, Father Christmas. Getting ready to say he comes down the chimney, nowhere near him <clears> here. <throat> That's right. Uh, but I did uh, verify, yes, Everybody it is. else who tries going down the chimney dies. <laughs> right. And not, he hates, not Santa. <clears throat> he hates the song of Silver Bells. He sure does. Wow. I, it's one of my favorites. Um, but, yes, uh, Tom Brady is an investor for this Major League Pickleball thing. Black. Oh, oh is that crazy. what we were waiting on? <laughs> yeah. Is that what we were vamping? Yep. With this fucking comedy gold coming out? Yes, sir. Uh, next one. What? O- overrated or underrated? Having a job as a pornography historian. This is a real job. What? No shit. Nuh-uh. Dead serious. W- show me on Indeed where to apply. <laughs> <laughs> I have fucking, that's going to be way underrated. Really? Oh, for fucking sure. That's I love history and I love porn. Mm-hmm. And you put those two together, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's a, it's a real thing. Um, awesome. I, I I don't I don't know if, if it would be a fun thing. Um, Why wouldn't it? But, well, because you do have poor to, video quality. Some of that old <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got their fucking smoke alarm batteries low, and it's just sitting there, just beep. That that sucks. So uh, I can't bring my dog to work. No, nope. because she'll go crazy. That's right. And then uh, the other thing is, is that you you're you're a historian of all porn, so you got to watch some weird shit that you probably don't like. Yeah, but I'm gonna watch some shit that I really do like. <laughs> Just you know what I mean? Short. I eat the I eat the vegetables so I can get cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fair. Okay. Yeah, uh, you got to do research for long periods of time, and I can only watch it 15, 20 minutes at a time, really. <laughs> can you that world class acting? Yeah, <laughs> that is good. Uh, you'd also probably have to go interview some of the uh, the pioneers of the porn industry, and I can't be around that much shag carpet, <laughs> <laughs> red <clears throat> shag carpet. I, you know it is. It's yep. still from the seventies. Yep. Are you talking about if they're naked or their actual carpet? No, actual carpet. Okay. I don't know. Because <laughs> they might still have some shag carpet. I thought I knew. They didn't have Manscaped yeah, back then. they sure didn't. No, no. no they didn't. Uh, but yes, uh, this is overrated. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, watching anyone get arrested. Oh, that's underrated. Mm-hmm. I can watch people get arrested all day. They made a TV show about it, and it was successful for like 30 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and That's... I watched every – I even if I turned that thing on and I knew it was like 1992, I'm like, eh, you know what? This is 25. I might know that guy. Yeah. Uh, he's referring to cops. Yes. And it was awesome. It was fucking great, and uh, this is what way you underrated. do <laughs> when they come for you. Yeah, you know, they should have made uh, – Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. They should have made that mm. the fucking theme song to cops. <laughs> I love that. What you going to do when they come for you? Like they just pick you at random to come. Yeah. Th- there's a way you could have avoided them coming <laughs> for you. It's like the price is right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> James Hawford, come on down. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is oh, underrated. Oh, underrated is fun. I get what you're saying now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how is that like the police? <laughs> he said like that was random. And, so and by the police, of course, we're talking about uh, the band with Sting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Every about, step you take. Yeah. How about... Uh, Every move you make. <laughs> how about you? I'll be watching you. I'll be watching. <laughs> so close. <laughs> how about you, Jeremy? Did you do it? I don't think you did. Oh. I, I forgot. What's the topic? <laughs> Overrated or underrated watching some, anyone get uh, arrested? Oh, it's underrated. It's interesting as fuck uh, how everybody's innocent or claim to be. Not one person. Yeah, I did it. Um <laughs> They, they are all innocent, and it's what's even more interesting. I've actually been on three different police ride-alongs. Uh-huh. Uh, some Twice people, in the front. Some people call that arrested, but yeah. I <laughs> yeah. Mean, um, everybody who gets arrested tends to suddenly come down with some sort of an ailment. Oh, really? They get hurt. Yeah, they <clears throat> they got roughed up, even though I saw you just stand there and let him put the fucking cuffs on you. Suddenly, now your fucking knee hurts, and it's because of these fucking cuffs. I'll be and, yeah, every goddamn one of them. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I think it's hilarious because if you if if it's like at a public place, uh, like a mall or anything like that, it's amazing how many people stop what the fuck they're doing and just stare and watch and see what's going on. It's fucking underrated as hell. Okay, last uh, or no, sorry, not last one. We got two left. Overrated or underrated? 
a Keebler elf orgy. Well, let me tell you, as a historian of porn, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that uh, this is very underrated. <laughs> I mean, how else do you think they frost the cookies? I mm-hmm. know, right? Yeah, I mean, and I mean, they work in the fudge shop for crying out loud. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's it's bound to happen. Everybody loves fudge. I mean, they say whenever you start working together, you can start start to get attracted to some of these people. And sure. I can, mm-hmm. I mean, who wouldn't fuck an elf? <laughs> so uh, naturally, they're going to want to fuck each other. Right. So yeah, that is way. Uh, they live in a tree. They're going to have wood. That's Absolutely. right. That's what Absolutely. I was getting ready to say. It's like an orgy in a tree house. Who wouldn't want to have that? Mm-hmm. This it's is underrated. In a tree. It's not even a tree. They don't get it's the cool view of looking out. Eh. Over high. They got that one dumb fucking window. This bug it, and, and let's face it, all that shit can't fit in that fucking tree. Yeah, I know, but it but does. This, in this is world. A uh, little, little known fact. This is how they test to see how crispy their crackers will stay. Right. Underrated all the way around. A lot of fluids. Yep. A lot of fluids in there. Yep. And last one, overrated or underrated, Harry Potter erotica. Again, as a porn historian, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go underrated here as well. Oh, man. Hermione was hot. But sure, she, she was a child, Scotty. Still, yeah, no, yeah, most I, recent yeah, one. She's, she's hot now. No, yeah. Um, yeah, he said was though. Yeah, was. Now. No, she. Was he like, really doesn't care for her now, but oh, at, at age eleven. No, <laughs> oh, he'd have fucking no. tore it up. Uh-huh. No, that's not what I mean. Uh, then, then she started. He'd have took, she, 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 <laughs> he'd have took her to the fudge shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, she, she is, uh, she's dumb. So Take no. that one swish and flick. I think this would be. A, I think this would be a, a mess. So overrated Show for me. Show you my chamber of secrets. Yep. You want to see my basilisk? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeremy, I'll show you some petrifying. <laughs> what about you? You what? think Hagrid's, Hagrid's horrible? <laughs> when do you see this dick? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, how I thought of this, uh, Hagrid uh, passed away. Uh, he sure like, did. Yeah. Robbie Coltrane. So. Yeah, it sucks. How about uh, you, how who you, in real life is actually a very short man. Is he really? Yeah, that was a lot of CGI and forced perspective. Yeah, he's, well, he's, I mean, not anything anymore, but yeah, he's only like 5'7 or some shit. Jesus. How about you, Jeremy? I mean, he's taller than you, but still. I'm going to dumble your door. (laughs) Get this fucking sorting hat. (laughs) Ride my broomstick. I'll show you my Nimbus 2000. Uh, So, underrated (laughs) for you, I'm assuming? Take this golden snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that would have made was it this the was it the first one that he swallowed it? Sorcerer's Stone. I think if he'd have followed on it, Keister first. <laughs> <laughs> I think that really would have. That's would have how Superman's gonna fly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's how he does. That's crazy. Uh, but anyways, are you gonna answer or just keep on doing this? <laughs> I, 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 it would get old. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to go overrated. Perfect. Expecto Patronus. More like <laughs> mm-hmm. Expecto Pat- Bonus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was overrated or underrated for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. <laughs> oh, fuck. Your really? mom's a real dement <laughs> whore. Okay, let, let, me, <laughs> let me ask you this in the Harry Potter world. If you uh, use Polyjuice Potion yeah. and have sex with somebody who thought you were their boyfriend, is that rape? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Were you wearing the invisible cloak? <clears throat> no. Well, how would they know who I was then? Yeah, they wouldn't know at all. Mm. The 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 juice turns you into that person. Which, by the way, for a pubescent boy with an invisibility cloak, there is no way he's not in the girl's shower <laughs> just <laughs> constantly. And and you know, by episode seven, that thing's just crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sure do. Because I don't even know how how do you how would you wash it. I don't know. Is that dry clean only? <laughs> yeah, I would say it would have to be. It has to be dry clean. It has mm-hmm. to be dry clean. Okay, now we get to move on to questions and Spanish questions. Uh, we get to uh, have a little bit of fun here. So we're Questions gonna... are the sentences with question marks at the end of them, <laughs> and we like to answer them. That's right. Uh, so we're going to start. What are preguntas then? Uh, uh, they, he says he said they are Spanish questions. They're Spanish. So they're like questions, but they're in a different language. So there's and a, they question have a question mark at the front, the front and the and end. The okay. yeah. And it's upside so down it's, at the front, too. It, it's like getting spit roasted by question marks. Absolutely. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, first one. Uh, this one is name some Halloween sexual acts. Zombestiality. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, wow. Uh huh. Okay. That's when, a, that's when a zombie fucks an animal. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> that's how he turns he animals into zombies. He's just a pervert in real life. Yeah. 
<laughs> and now, yeah. even in death, even as as an undead, just fucking walking around, he still has to yeah. fuck animals. That shows you it really wasn't his fault. <laughs> <Ass>. <laughs> fucking an ostrich, you know? No? Okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. Sorry. It's got to take at least two zombies to fuck an ostrich. Okay. All right. Uh, better off with three. Okay. I uh, I went with param, uh, paranormal is what I went with. That's mine. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the Well, I thought it was just ghost stuff, ghost-related okay. shit. So I went with the proton pack. That's where a girl just uh, sits there and uh, the two guys just cross the stream <laughs> right, <laughs> right on her face. Uh, I think that should be a real thing. That should it sure be. should. It should be. My goodness. That's a historian. I know it's not been done before. <laughs> no. Not in a brown jumpsuit, anyway. No. That's right. Oh, Jesus. All right. Next question. Well, it has, oh. but that was in county. Oh, okay. Yeah. Prison. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Next question. Uh, things that should have an expiration date. Driving privileges. Not a driver's license. Driving privileges. <sighs> okay. Because, like, in Arizona, your license expires at 65. And it's awesome because you have to get your license for, what, 49 fucking years after you get it. You don't have to renew it. But that about 65, you shouldn't drive anymore. <laughs> that should be it. I, f- I have one more old bitch pull out in front of me in two lanes that can't see over the fucking steering wheel. Yeah. Stop it. Yep. Hang it up. Yep. Take I, an Uber. Yeah, I agree. Um, but son of a bitch, I also picked driving. God uh, damn it. I did. <laughs> Uh, but instead, I did have a backup, and I'm going to go with uh, Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations should expire in time, and you, there should be somebody who goes out and, and yells at you if you have Christmas decorations. You're going to replace all those motherfuckers, yeah. Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> you become penalized after a month and a half of oh, your Christmas lights still I being I thought you up. meant you could only use them so many years in a row. No. I'm, what I'm saying is, is that whenever you go over to Jeremy Joseph's house and it's fucking like May and you still have Christmas shit up, I think you should be uh, penalized. I think putting them up this early, she's trying to sneak in year round. Is that what she's trying I, to do? I think so. Because <laughs> fuck, it'll be so, May before the shit comes down. Right. Yep. And that's why I think it uh, should have an expiration date. I mean, it's not even daylight savings time yet. <laughs> or the end of daylight savings. <laughs> yeah. How about so, you, Jeremy? Uh, underpants. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? I got some holy ones that are still... Right. You should not wear those anymore. <laughs> you should have to get rid of those. Those are have gone bad. Yeah? <laughs> there should at least be a smell test. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. How do we get holes like right in the in the butt? How, how, well, that's we're born that way, Scotty. Uh-huh. I think that is a that is a question for the Almighty Creator, Joe Pesci. <laughs> no, why does our Thank why you. does our underwear always have like li- like holes worn right in that area? Why do you know anything about my underwear? <laughs> <laughs> my underwear doesn't get holes in it because you know why? Why I use the Lutron company <laughs> butt naked underwear. Okay. Uh, I actually do. They're really good. They, are they? Yeah. Awesome. That's they're they're the ballroom. I or no, those are the jeans. They're from Minnesota. They sure are. Oh, okay. Duluth. We got some uh listeners from up there. As is Maria Bamford. Who the hell's that? She's a comedian. Oh, cool. Stan Bamford's wife. Oh yep. got it. Uh all right. <laughs> Next question. Things astronauts complain about in space. Lack of puss. Really? No. Yeah, okay. they're like, I think we were called astronauts. I think mm-hmm. we should be fucking just slaying puss up here. Yeah. And it's five of us and Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> and Shannon is ugly as fuck. Uh, no, I, I floating poop, man. It, everything floats. It has no gravity. you got to poop in a bag. Apollo 10. I poop in a bag Apollo anyway. Apollo 10. Yep. What about it? The famous lunar turd. Uh, <laughs> one, one got loose. <laughs> One got loose in the uh, the the command module, and you just hear the the audio. Ah, uh, oh, who did it? <laughs> and they had to capture it in in the napkin. And that okay, NASA it was a napkin. NASA, it is a napkin. It, yeah, a napkin of some sort. Anyway, uh, they didn't really have toilet paper. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this. How <laughs> oh, difficult it, it is to shit in space. <laughs> Um, yeah, gravity does a lot of the work here on Earth that you don't think about. So on, on the Apollo missions... You poop out of your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that, and that made those fucking microphones that they had to talk into. And especially if you're wearing a helmet. Oh, 
That really <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. Somebody clean the bowl. Uh, but no, um, so they have these bags with a vacuum seal ring that you put right up to your hole, <laughs> right? And then the outside of the bag has a little finger thing <laughs> that you had to pull it oh down out of your ass with. <laughs> God. To uh, to get it down in there, because, yeah, gravity won't pull it away from your ass. Do they sell these? Because I am tired of having just having a hanger. You know what I'm talking about, where you got to, like, break gross. it off, and then you just sit there and you wipe for, like, an hour? Uh, I do. Do they yeah. sell those? Because I'll just pull that thing right on they out. They certainly sell rubber gloves. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not going to flush a rubber glove. Why not? You should. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, just, just, go, do it. just go. You can afford a plumber. Right. You can afford some money. <laughs> Uh, but no, and then, of course, up in space, uh, water doesn't work the same either, so washing your hands is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I thought you were going to say you pee out of your eyes. <laughs> no. How about you, Jeremy? What was yours? Why can't you pee out of your eyes? I don't know. I don't, I don't think Poop it's... out of your mouth. Because of anatomy? Yeah. Mostly. Uh, anatomy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I can tell you some way of... I would be mad to wake up from an operation of it. They just rewired everything. Right. Yeah. That that actually is like the big chief complaint. Uh, there's you can't crack a window or anything up there, so smells don't escape. <laughs> oh. Like on the International Space Station, uh-huh. and I guess when the new astronauts get launched up there and you know relieve the the old ones, and yeah. they open up that fucking door. I guess it's horrible. <laughs> it's just this waft of funk fumes that just oh, come out. That sucks. I, I've also heard that too with uh, airline companies like international flights. Uh huh. Just all the farts and bad breath and everything of people having been on the plane, all the body odor and stuff just collects. And they always make the new guy at the terminal open the fucking door. <laughs> it's like a, a rite of passage that they have to go through, and just the. The fucking waft of funk. Ugh. Everybody on the plane is used to it. They just grew nose blind to it. But for the people just wow. getting to it, I guess it's nasty. <laughs> so that's yours too, then? Just that the smells don't okay. escape. That's, okay. uh, make a TikTok out of that, genius. I will. I'll try. All right. <laughs> okay. Because that was real nice and succinct. Yes, it was. Uh, next question. Uh, what's something you should never put in your mouth? I'm going to go with the world's hottest gummy bear <laughs> because I don't know if you know this or not, Jeremy. Uh-huh. It is six times hotter than the world's hottest chip. How, how many? Six. six. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think that is something you should probably so, never, ever put in your mouth. So if, if you had your choice and there's two people going to do it and one person takes the chip and leaves you with the gummy bear think and you know acting like they're getting the short end of the stick uh-huh. you should have the right to just kick the snot out of that person oh absolutely i mean just all fucking day long yeah i would baby bird that fucking gummy bear uh-huh. into his mouth <laughs> oh, that's disgusting i'm gonna show him how gravity affects poop here on Earth. <laughs> that up close oh jesus i don't know who that they're talking about but uh anyways uh i went with a toe Jeremy's pinky toe. Your to be, pinky toe. You can't fit it. Any toe. <laughs> people that like it when they put feet in somebody else's mouth, that's disgusting. It's the size of a party sub. <laughs> <laughs> One of those three footers that you get for like a graduation yeah. party. Well, my goodness. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, unfortunately, I've done it as a younger man, but I can tell you now I regret every second of it. Coins. Uh, oh really yeah money huh? just money in general as a as a kid going and playing video games uh-huh. i usually didn't have shorts with pockets on them and so i'd get my fucking quarters and i'd just put whatever which one in the fucking game and put the rest of them in my fucking mouth to hold them yeah what the they fuck in people's <laughs> fucking filthy hands and pockets and cup holders and shit you haven't yeah. had covid though right no, it works. No. It works. It works. Strengthening your immune system when you're young. And they it sure say does. we can't yeah. eat money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like to think though I put out an extra like magnetic field around me, and that's why my recliners go down so fucking slow. <laughs> 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 no, but ser- until until you, they came out with like the coin holder things for like next game and shit like that, um, p- 
people would like put them up on the arcade game and they would fucking slide yeah. down in there so you couldn't do it. You had nowhere to put them. I, I learned that. That took one time yes, for, for me to start putting them in his mouth. Because yes. the cashier at the fucking gas station didn't give a shit. That's right. I'm and not giving you fucking quarterback. The, the other thing is if you actually go to an arcade, which they are, by the way, they are rebuilding the new one. They're relocating it. Yeah, it's going to be that. bigger. It's going to be fucking awesome. They're going to serve but alcohol too. I'm, what are they going to have in there? Yes. Video games? Yes. I like to but, wonder now what Jeremy did. Like, if he's like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to break all these bills. I'm just going to put these in my mouth and I'll put them in a bill breaker later. Yeah. Did you put the $5 bills and the $1 bills in your mouth? Absolutely. Here? Whose fucking parents sent them with $5 bills? <laughs> <laughs> I got a dollar at a time. Right. I got me four fucking video games and I liked it. Oh. I had to play them outside in the snow. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll bill both ways. Yeah. I just I just thought of something about my week re, uh, recap that I, I forgot to do. Oh, Jesus. Let's go back and visit. <laughs> yeah, are we starting over? My favorite thing that happened Hey, everybody, me, get psyched up for this. It was my birthday, and Derek ended up sending me a picture, or that uh, a text message that had happy birthday written, like, with all dicks, and it was fucking hilarious, so I thought it was just funny. I shared it on social media. Yeah, got taken down pretty quick. <laughs> go figure. But well, anyway. they're tired of you sharing all those dicks, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. I think they're just whatever you post. Yeah, probably. We're like, oh, this is going to be stupid. Fuck, that's dumb. Okay, uh, last question. You seen his beard? Yeah. It's so stupid. It's stupid. Uh, last question. What is something that makes you giggle no matter how many times it happens? I, mine is on this show. Okay. Any new band name that Jeremy Joseph comes up with fucking makes me laugh. Doesn't matter which one. Every time. Right? What do you mean that I come up with? Those are real oh, fucking bands <laughs> that I manage. I'm sorry. The real that's... bands that Jeremy has managed are mm-hmm. fucking hilarious. He's a big fucking deal. Yeah. Stinky Twinkies. Dickhead Mike and the Duck Farts. That one's the best one. Yeah. The Duck Farts went out solo. By the way, that <laughs> band broke up. No. Yeah. Damn. They're on tour with the News uh-huh. and the Funky Bunch right now. I like Huey Lewis and the Duck Farts. He didn't, Huey Lewis just left and went, went with them, didn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah. But he's... Yeah, he can't compete with Dickhead Mike in the vocal category. <laughs> <laughs> so now he just plays maracas in the band. <laughs> That's great. Uh, how about you, Derek? I'm going to go with uh, anytime some kid that's being an asshole gets hurt. That's a good one. That makes me laugh that's every time. Bad. That or whenever you see the videos, oh, I could watch these all day. On TikTok, where like there's some fucking like big kid bullying some kid. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's like, "What are you gonna do, you little bitch? Fuck you! I fuck your mom!" And then the little kid just kicks the shit out of him. Yep. That yep. is fucking great. I think it's that great. makes me laugh every time. I agree. I think it's great. It's the best part. Jeremy, uh, whenever somebody like hollers out to get my attention and then holds something up to their crotch like it's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's never not funny. <laughs> Every time. Every time. And by the way, the less penis shape that it is, the funnier it is. You great. do that with a shoebox? Oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> All right. Well, that was questions and preguntas for this week. Um, but now it is time for a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I uh, I didn't win last week. I, I apparently, I, I was picking guys that uh, you know already actually are in the fucking Hall of Fame. My list was a little bit outdated. Yeah, so you went with the Hall of Very, Very Good. <laughs> I did. Re- yeah. Really fucking good. Really fucking good. I did. Uh, so, yeah. So I got dead last. Uh, Derek took second. So he gets the sandwich picks, and uh, Jeremy took it home, baby. Way to go, dude! You get uh, you get the championship. I've always said our listeners are fucking sharp. They, 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 they make good they choices. Are. They yeah. really know what the fuck they're talking about. That's right. Jeremy gets the championship picks at the end, uh, and we are doing a fun, fun draft today. We are doing our well, what is it? Our favorite or our uh, the worst old people names ever, right? The mm-hmm. ones that are being phased out that are just absolutely awful. Why would you name your child that? And Spite. <laughs> Spite. <laughs> uh, I, I've got quite a few um, that I really, really want, but I think, let's see, the worst one 
that's out there. I saw it a little while ago, and I haven't said Oh, there it is. I'm going to go with Bernadette. All right. Yeah. That's fucking awful. And that, it still happens. Yeah. Oh, some Bur- of these still happen. Yeah, they're called, they call him Bernie. Jeez. Yeah. He's a character on uh, Big Bang Theory. He's a purple fucking dinosaur, She's Jeremy. so fucking hot in that, too. Bernadette. Yeah, she's... <laughs> Jesus she's, Christ. She's, in, in actuality, she kind of is. Yeah, yeah. Melissa Roush. Oh. Uh, My pick now, it, right? It's Barney, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Jeremy. I fucking know. <laughs> God. See, I'm just used to you being a fucking moron all the time. <laughs> uh, but yes, Derek, you get uh, you get one. Grover. Grover? Yes. Like Grover Cleveland? Uh, yeah, Grover Alexander. Yeah. He, he's a He's a president man and still a shitty first name it is a shitty first name uh all right jeremy you get two uh cletus <laughs> uh, that's a good one that is a very good one all right and your next pick eunice, <laughs> eunice. oh damn jeremy's gonna fucking crush i this. cannot imagine dirty <laughs> talking to eunice fucking naming all his family members <laughs> named him uni is there, was there like a nickname for this I've never met one. I just know it's a fucking name. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's awful. It sure is. Uh, I'm going to stick with the G's. Okay. Gertrude. Yeah, that was the other one I was hoping would come back. That's a very good pick. Gertie. Yeah. Oh, that's that was uh, Drew Barrymore's character in E.T. She was Gertie. Oh, yeah. that's terrible. Um, you would have. She was. She was only like five then, Scotty. You would have thought she was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I'd have fucked I, the shit out of that alien. Yeah. I don't care for that fucking twenty-five-year-old Drew Barrymore, but fucking oh, back then, he, kindergarten. He's like, I wanted to fuck the Olsen twins before they were even famous. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with one that we call my stepdad. Uh, I'm gonna go with Melvin. That's a terrible name. All right, and then I'm going to go. I'm just going to start naming all of my grandparents. That's what I'm going to fucking do. I'm going to go with Roberta. Okay. Guy, that's a girl, Robert. All right, Derek. Horace. Okay. Which is going to be the name of my first child. <laughs> Horace Van Dam Alders. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you there, Jerry? Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he's nice. He's We're going to call him Robert. HVD. Okay. Yep. Uh, Myrtle. Oh, oh, damn. God damn it. He, Jeremy's crushing. Yeah, he is crushing. I'm not even using a list, guys. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's go with... Uh, mm, uh, fuck. I don't know. Maybe I should use a list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Be a good idea. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> What's your real pick? Um, fine. Albert. Uh, okay. It comes with steroids. I don't mind. You say Albert? Albert. 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 Okay. okay. I, I shouldn't have picked that one. That's not a good, that's not a bad name. Okay. All right. How about but you? I've already uh, picked this too goddamn late. Yep. Agatha. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I even have a bit with that name in it, but. God damn, there's never a fucking... I could not imagine fucking an Agatha. <laughs> you can't? Uh-uh. Oh, man, I bet you she's, you know... Oh, fuck. I, you took mine. You you took one of... The one I really wanted was Gertrude. Well... That just sounds like a fat piece of shit. Um, That's my great aunt's name. Oh, really? <laughs> Good. I don't know. She's dead. <laughs> okay. Never met um, her. Let's see. Oh, I like that one. I'm going to go with uh, Elmer. Mm. Who, who fucking does that shit anymore? That's that's awful. Okay. And then I'm trying to see. Who do I want to go after here? Last pick is going to be... Man. I'm going to go with Edna. Okay. That's uh, that's it. I'm not going to win anyway. Jeremy's going to kill it with this one. Last pick for you, Derek. I want old people names. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm going to do it. 
Okay. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> so just Jeremy. No, Jeremy Joseph. It's hyphenated. Oh, oh, is that right? <laughs> yep. That is uh, that is my last pick. Can he do that? It's fine. I wouldn't uh, wish uh, that on anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. It's a fucking curse to be this awesome. Yeah. And then, Jeremy, your last pick. Um, Blanche. Blanche? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. one. The Golden Girls, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a Blanche. Yeah. I I kind of went blank. My mind yeah, went. Yeah, this was your idea. I know, but I just thought it would be fun. And it was. Some of these are bad. Yeah. Edna. Yeah, that's what I was. I picked that. Did you? Yeah, I picked Edna. Well, that's a great fucking name, though. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, one it wasn't until you picked it. Harold. Her- well, how about like, uh, my... Gaylord. Ooh, that would have been a good one. Ralph was one for me. That's in my family. That's why I didn't pick it, because he's still alive. He'd kill me. He would fight. Like, he listens. He knows I'd like to, to see that. To I, would pay, <laughs> I would pay to see Ralph kill you. I would name my kid Ralph. Would you? <laughs> if I could watch Ralph kill you. Oh, man. But anyways, any of the other ones that you liked? Oh, there were a few. Was there? Uh, yeah. You uh, went off a different list. Oh, I went off a yeah, way different list. Wilfred. Wilfred, I saw. Herbert. Uh, Justin Justin Herbert's like bringing that one back. Herman, like, like the love bug. Ooh, yeah, Herman. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, Mamie. I don't even know what that is. M a m i e. Yeah, Millhouse. Ooh, is that a first name or a last name? Well, it was a middle name for our president. Okay, the great president Nixon. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. And there's a kid on the on the Simpsons named Millhouse. Irene. Oh, yeah, that is bad. Irene one. over Georgia. I think I still I think Georgia still happens, if but it does. Uh, he's not, not on my mind. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, that is our draft for this week for the worst old people names. Um, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing the sidelines oh. and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji. See who wins next week what? and uh, Lester gets to get Beulah. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Oh bad. yeah. Uh, yeah. Beulah Bowbricker. Ooh, she was the uh, the PE teacher on. The Porky's movies. Oh, okay. Fair. Mabel. Mabel. Uh, that one doesn't happen. Gladys. Either. That's a good one. Oh, that is a good one right there. Gladys would have been good. Uh, but yeah, vote. Uh, Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Corresponding emoji. See who wins next week. Yep, that's, uh, that's that. And now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, On September 17th, 1967, fans gathered to watch a soccer match between the clubs of uh, (laughs) Kaysiraspor and Sivaspor. My my favorite teams. Uh, My favorite sports. Damn right they are. Mm -hmm. At uh, Ataturk Stadium in Kayseri, Turkey. Uh, at the halftime, just after the, we'll say the fucking home team, uh, <laughs> uh, took the lead, their fans started taunting the opposing fans. Uh, fans from both sides, some of them armed with uh, bats and knives, because, uh, you know, soccer, um, <laughs> started throwing rocks at each other, which uh, led to fans fleeing and causing a stampede. Uh, This stampede resulted in the deaths of 43 people and seriously injured 300 more. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, get a real fucking sport. (laughs) 43 people died? 43 people died. Holy shit. That's that's quite a stampede. It sure is. Uh, <laughs> over soccer. Over soccer. <laughs> what, they go up one to nothing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. My wife couldn't bring her fucking purse into the goddamn wind surge game. Uh-huh. How do these people get in with bats? <laughs> And they, is it they sell them at the game? <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> that's what makes that's fucking what kills me. You go to a baseball game and you're uh-huh. like, ah, 
Lift your hat up. Got to make sure you don't have any weapons. No, I'm clean. I'm just going to go in here and buy a bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's like, I think it used to be the thing in soccer where if ball got kicked into the stands, you had to hit it back. Oh, and that's what it was. Sure. Yeah. They were out there. You had to hit fungos. Yeah. It was like Wrigley Field. Yeah. The other team kicks it in the stands. You throw it back. Yeah, right. Just when one goes in the stands, you had to be ready. It's like being ready for a foul ball with your glove. Only it's Only a bat. they're out there with bats. And right. you got to... Yeah. And then they had that one kid that took it down to the concession stand and right. got a free Coke. And yeah. <laughs> he got a nickel. <laughs> Jeez. It's like Arena League football. If one goes in the stands. You get the key back. <laughs> All right. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is Would you rather verbally dominate in a three way <laughs> Eunice and Gertrude? Mind you, those names are very descriptive on what kind of females they are. Hot. No. A lot of big panties. Yeah. <laughs> Great big panties. panties. With skid marks and in them. Gertie wears a girdle. <laughs> For sure. Or have to pick your nose and eat it in front of an attractive woman. Well, I'm taking, I'm, Jesus, I'm taking the pick in your nose and eat it. I don't care. It's disgusting, yeah, but I think it's more disgusting to taste and to eat it. But I pick my nose all the time. I could do that, it, and the eating it—that's just—that's only going to last a couple seconds. I saw Scotty at a stoplight last week. <laughs> <laughs> was he fucking two old chicks named Eunice and Gertrude? Gertrude? He was on his way to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had him in the car. He's got a bench seat, and yeah. they were, Eunice was hugged right up to him. <laughs> I just couldn't imagine having to like dirty talk Eunice or Gertrude, especially the types of women that are named Eunice and Gertrude. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the nose picking, Derek. Huh? <laughs> uh, God, I don't know. There's something about a bitch named Gertrude. <laughs> oh no, she's got she got a little bit of a mustache. Let me ask you this: If in that three, can I pick her nose and eat it in the three way? You sure can. Mm. Yeah, that's disgusting. Man. She's probably got a pretty big booger, too. Oh, I bet so. It's been hanging up there for years. Years. Yeah, like bats in that, son of a bitch. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we had to just ruin that. I guess I'll just pick my nose and eat it then. Okay. That, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. But then I'm going to do that whole fucking... <laughs> like right after it. <laughs> yeah, you got to make eye contact. Yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> with the hot chick. Yeah, do one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and then go in for it. Lick uh, your finger up and down. <laughs> oh, that's gross. It sure is. <laughs> Seducer with that bug. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't even put the whole booger in your mouth at once. Just kind of flick it a little bit with your tongue. Mm-hmm. That's Let cool. her know what you're all about. Oh, this is starting to make me nauseous. I think that's, what, that's the way to go. Uh, I'm going to puke. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Oh, I'm laying the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gertrude shit. and Eunice don't know what they're in for yet. <laughs> they they thought they were upset at first. They accused me of stealing their newspaper <laughs> <laughs> and doing the crossword puzzle. Uh huh. You sons of bitches. Yeah, then setting it back on the porch. <laughs> and so they both came over just hot. I mean, they were <laughs> Way steaming hot. And then they took those fucking big old dresses <laughs> off. <laughs> And, and I can do that, too, because nobody's going to find out. They're probably going to forget. <laughs> Maybe. I yeah. guarantee you they're both demented. Oh, God. I bet you they got couldn't moles get, all over their back. Sure. Couldn't get the smell of Vicks out of those sheets for weeks. <laughs> oh. What are they going to do? Tell the other girls at Bingo? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Then you get more ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Tilly, come on down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, shit. All right. That's enough. That's just disgusting. But guys. No, I'd like to tell you more about it. No, I don't What I'd like to do. I want to. I'd like to go waist high on one and titty fucker. (laughs) (laughs) That's Uh, gross. Get get down between her legs. Stick my dick between her tits. (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. Can you imagine? Motor voter and smack your head on a knee. I bet you those curtains hang low, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. And they're gray, so they match the drapes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this week's episode. Bye. No, <laughs> oh. uh, we still have uh, just a couple more days left before Laughing on the Sidelines Live. You can get your tickets in all of our bios. It is in there. We will be at Vorshay's Lounge in Wichita, Kansas on the 22nd of October. If you can be there, I have found out that uh, not only is it not 18 to enter, <laughs> technically it's a restaurant. You can get in there if you're 17. They yeah, ain't car- we don't want you there. But we just don't want you there. <laughs> but uh, we kind of do. It doesn't matter. I thought we, that we made that our rule. I think it was. But, hey, it happens. But anyways, uh, check, uh, please, we would love to, all of you guys I'm, that could I'm come. I'm excited would, about this. I'm fucking pumped about this. It'll be a lot I'll of fun. I'll be there. You'll be there. You're, I'm looking forward to doing a show where I'm not just fucking dead asleep. Yeah? Where I haven't been up and working all day. Yeah, that's true. I want to be well rested. I I will be surprised how well my my mind works. Okay, and cool. I'm going to be drunked up, so there's a good chance I might fuck a couple of you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not look me. out, Eunice. Yeah, that's right, and Gertrude. We are big with the elderly. That's right. Uh, but guys, uh, we sincerely do appreciate it. The show uh, continues to grow. Thank you guys so much for doing what we ask you to do. And that is, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope that someone runs into that whore crux of a mom of yours, and then she says for five bucks she'll let them snick, stick their golden snitch in her Diagon Alley. <laughs> but they end up paying ten bucks instead, and they stick their whole expelliarmus up her Patronus, and now she's a wizard Muppet. <laughs> <laughs>